Welcome, everyone, to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. I am your host, the Deathmatch King, the Indie God. Always ready, Matt Cardona. And I'm your host, the most professional wrestler, TNA star, and the Scotty Pippen of wrestling figure collecting, Brian Myers. Happy holidays. I'm also here to produce the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire, the most famous professional wrestling lawyer. And this show is brought to you by our good friends, Ringside Collectibles. Use code MAJOR to save 10%. Guys, it's the, uh, as, as we record this, it is December 26th. How were, how were your holidays? How was Christmas? Man, great. Everything was great. Uh, we got some weekly purchases, things to talk about, obviously, right? Gifts count, but uh, yeah, but it, it was great. Yeah, uh, holidays with children are uh, a whole nother animal. Unbelievable! So <laughs> yes. good, yeah. just a whole nother lease on on holiday life. Right? Really? Yeah. I mean, it's I have like, always liked Christmas. It's like even starting all over again, literally. Like you're at the point, I think, before you have kids, where you just give no fucks about holidays. Yeah, and then it's like couldn't be more different once you have kids yeah yeah i'll say this uh i mean probably the same thing with matt trip matt and chelsea chip traveling but like you know this weekend AEW is live um uh saturday night so then everybody's traveling home on on christmas eve and i'm like anxious about it i just want to get home and everybody else you know the people without kids they're like ah we're gonna stay in town for a couple of days we're gonna travel yeah. to the air and i'm thinking what yeah, <laughs> but but great. it's a whole different thing right that would, do you, Matt? Do you yeah. make your flights home like for whenever the hell you want? What do you mean, like on the road? Yeah, or are you always the first first flight out? Well, I'm always the first flight out, but that's what I want. Well, I'm just double checking because, like, <laughs> I just booked EY for uh, Creator Pro, and uh, I was doing his stuff, and I was like, "Send me what flights you want." And then he picked like a 11:30 a.m. home, oh and my I'm like, "God!" I go, "That's the uh, I don't have kids flight home, huh, bro?" I, I'm always blown away when everyone isn't on that first like flight. Chuck Taylor's flight home has to be like 1 p.m. every Garen, day. Yes. He's the guy that pops in my brain. Always. <laughs> right. It's always. a good, good example. But I'm like, God. Gallows, man. Uh, single Gallows was like noon flights. Like, wow. No, like, I, I, yeah. I guess I could see that. But I want to be home Same, as yeah. much as possible. And I don't have kids. I was but- say, even when I didn't have kids, I didn't do that. Because, yeah. you know, it's ingrained in my brain from the WWE schedule because you're on the road for a lot longer. You want every second in your home yeah, as possible. But so, I yeah, can see the like, oh, wow, sleep in this beautiful hotel room. This nice, like, I there's guess, that side of had, it too, and right? Then but then your day's over when you get home. It's shot. Yeah. By yeah. the time you work out, it's dinner time. What, what the yeah. hell? What the fuck? Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. I couldn't Ter- imagine. Terrible. Like even today, I took uh, a late flight. By late, it was nine twenty a.m. Oh, oh, cool. I'd be like, oh man, I know. Oh I want to be home by nine twenty a.m. <laughs> I yeah, love yeah. those. That's I love I those. It's like getting a whole nother day. Sleep when you're dead, you know. Sleep when you're dead. Yeah, I but, just just thought that was a nice little topical thing to talk about. Well, speaking of topical things to talk about, the bone oh. crunching action, the, the I, holiday treat to you guys. Everyone so, loved it. Bro- Broski, I, w- I wanted to ask you. Your brother, your brother got engaged. You guys had a great holiday. Oh, my brother! Thing. My brother got engaged. We were in New York City. Unfortunately, we didn't go to Carmine's. I was outvoted. We had to try some wow, other. Are you okay? We had to try this other Italian place. If I had three thumbs, I'd give it three thumbs down. Wow! Whoa. You took took a picture it's, of that chicken parm too. Not you didn't. No, like no, it. no, no, no. That was the bocce was, on Long that Island. That place, That's a different night. That place different has night. four thumbs up and my cock. That's how good that last <laughs> chicken parm was. <laughs> See, how did we miss talking about this? We, yeah. And also, yeah. new style with, with, with some sort of like hat. He had some sort of fedora on or something he's the, in the He's city? the indie god. He wants to make sure he gets no, recognized in public. Fair. That's okay. like the equivalent of, like, I told you, Tyson Kidd told me back in the day, him and Natty went out to eat with Jimmy Hart, and he kept getting interrupted because fans were recognizing him taking pictures. And he was like, it's sure nice to be recognized after all these years. And TJ's like, you're wearing an airbrushed fucking suit jacket, man. I'm like, of course they recognize you. <laughs> he, that that's was a, not an indie god hat. That was that's like what he was doing. No, He's wearing his not, indie god no, hat to get, indie to get god noticed. Hat. And were you asshole. selling combos in the subway? No, or? I don't do combos, pal. That's but that's, that's the hipster Target. god. That's the I new was, thing. I was the hipster Target. god, no, Matt was Cardona. I was at Target picking out this hat with with. Uh, Chelsea's sister, and she wanted me to get like a beige, like Kevin McAllister's dad's jacket color hat. And I said, no, <laughs> that's Indie God. I can't be a fucking Mark. You know? <laughs> okay. I can't do that. Oh, my. But the hat, the hat has been a big hit. Everyone's talking about it. 
You know, I saw the Cody Rhodes cash. Instagram story. I'll tell you that. That yeah, that's right. Floored uh, me. I that I was not expecting. <laughs> floored me. The zoom like in a, on Matt. The civilian <laughs> photo of Matt Cardona zoomed in on the hat. Uh, that's well, like the Brian Miles spe- Brent Meyers special. By it the way. is my the no move. context. <laughs> I zoom do, in I on somebody's good, face. I love a good no context, no tag rib on Instagram. <laughs> well, congrats yeah. to Andrew yeah. Career. They got engaged. Very happy for them. I was yes. there. Yes, congrats, Luckily, Andrew. I know, congrats. I know he's listening. Andrew yeah. came to the Creative Pro Wrestling uh, he did Christmas a party. Yeah. He had the time of his life. Yeah, the Creative yeah. Pro Christmas party is a hell it's of a it's time. I was there, Mark. Epic. Where were you? It's always epic. I was on my way to San Antonio. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I theoretically could have gone. It's not you. It's the road that's calling Mark. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh, what does Bear Bronson made it though? He he I, I was, saw Bear Bronson. He, he, he was there all night. Changed, and then he purposely made it to changed his travel, yes, to yeah to be there. Wouldn't have worked for me, pal. But anyway, yeah, the BCA episode. I, I'm very thrilled. So far, so good. Right, a lot of people liked it. I've seen a lot of awesome feedback about it. Yeah. A lot of people loved it. Vintage Jack BCA, of course, has given some. You know, he he loved it. By the way, but it's given great us- review from it. The first oh, thing, yeah. great review. He he is giving us some extra extra you know facts. So check out his uh, watch the episode to check out his his Twitter or his X. I was say his tweets right is where he's yeah. doing it right. Yeah, so yeah. Check that out. Uh, all right, let's. Oof, we we had a lot of BS before we started. Make sure you follow us on X, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Subscribe to this podcast wherever you get your podcast. And leave a review, not just any review, but a major review. If we read your review on air, you'll get a little prize. This is from Treffrey Adam. Just finished watching our gift from the Major Pod crew, the BCA bonus episode on YouTube. This brought me back to the Christmas morning when I opened up the Series 1, Sean and Bret Hart, and they've remained my favorite figures ever since. This bonus episode is one of the many reasons I love the podcast, the Facebook group, the live shows, the toy drive, booze with the toys. I can go on forever, baby. Oh, he's yeah. he's he's doing a little uh, home alone thing. Anyway, cheers to the major pod forever, um, man. That that Christmas, Sean and Brett. That must be Christmas ninety six. Speaking of, I found a picture of me Christmas ninety six. You just see that monster rig, I that saw. big box. That was an epic picture. Floor. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff. But yeah, people loving the BCA episode. It's on YouTube. It's on the podcast feed, the main podcast feed if you're a major mark uh, dot com subscriber. So I saw sure your you tweet of that today and then I got like literally nervous because I had no memory of posting it on the main feed. <laughs> and then did I you? looked in it. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I had just I, I was like, oh, my God, I forgot. But I Whoa. did. Whoa. Yeah, what are the what are the uh, what are the views like now? Can we check? I think 15,000 uh, earlier today as I looked. Oh, wow. And how long is it? Is it over? Is it an hour it's two and a half, half hours? Two, two and a half, half hours. Half two and a half hours. That's why I'm like, I, I lived it, so I don't have to watch it immediately. But yes, I'm scared to watch it because of the holy commitment. shit. Yeah. Sorry, nineteen thousand. Sorry, Brian. Go ahead. Oh. oh, nice. But yeah, I'm scared of the commitment of it. You know what I mean? Because it's not going to happen in one sitting. The way I live my life, and I'm. But then I'm going to be enamored with it. and I'm going to keep wanting to every what? free moment. You know what? What video? Did we do like a live watch along for it? I fucking fell asleep. It was so fucking long. I think Brian definitely tapped out. Was it the Hasbro? There was so long. Yeah. We did it live, maybe like live, like tweet along. What? Oh, well, we did that a couple times. Oh, like when it debuted? Yeah. That uh, the Hasbro was four. The pandemic and a half live show. We did that. That was fun. And then a couple FWFs. We did that, right? Hmm. Yeah. It was definitely a Hasbro when I fell asleep on fucking like the red cards. <laughs> We <laughs> we also put it live a little earlier. We always say Christmas Day, but uh, in the past years we we put it up like Christmas Eve because I did I do remember hearing a lot of people mentioning that like Christmas Eve night the yeah, wrapping presents you, yeah you wind down or you want something on yeah. while you do another shit yeah I totally so get that. I think I, we'll say Christmas Day, but uh, we might be putting it a little earlier in future years. Guys, leave in the comments if you're watching on YouTube what you want us to cover next year. Well, a lot of people were like, where the heck is the rest of the series? And I'm bro, like, bro, it would have been half hours. It would have been 24 <laughs> hours. I don't even think <laughs> we could do. Two and a half we put in for you. Yeah. I don't even think we could do 98 to 2000 in two and a half hours because it gets well, too just, nuts. It might just have to be 98 and then 99 to the death. Even even 98's fucking nuts. That's what I'm saying. 90 That'd be great. 98 has to be its own. Yeah. And then 99 to the death. And even that might be too much. It might be 98, 99 could be their own episodes and then. 2000s of the yeah. death. Like, I mean, nothing. Oh, oh man, I I actually my vote is to do 98 next year. That's my vote. I'll do 98 next year. That or Gloobs, but I but I think we should continue. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a I'm a company man. TNA Marvel. 
I got nothing on it. Me I had to do research. Bro, you collected ev- all of it. I was there. Yeah, I but just, that's, only, that's only because I collected everything. Still. Oh, I, boom. I think it's, Brian I mean, should do I'm, a standalone one. On oh, thanks. Here. Yeah, I'll just I'll start, I'll start working <laughs> Maybe on that could right be now, a mid-year guys. one. Hey, we did say that we wanted to start doing uh, more. Well, we uh, do owe you the that. Incarnation of Domination, Matt and Brian. We'll get them this year, I promise. Which <laughs> we pivoted. It's Incarnation, Kurt and Zach. And then Matt and Brian. We're going to give them two videos since we're delayed. Right. And that first so one will we'll do. You see Brian's eyes? Well, come on. We already said this. <laughs> yeah. We'll also put Mark Malibu figures in that first Mark one. Mark Malibu. Yeah, with all the extensive Mark Malibu Lots figures will be covered in yeah. this episode. All right, guys. Uh, the giveaway courtesy of Ringside Collectibles. Find the pin post on X. Retweet it to be eligible. The winner is... Uh, and the prize was the NWO Retro 4-Pack. The winner, Chris C. West, 45. You win. Giveaway this week, FTW Hook. So just find the pin post on X and uh, retweet to get that AEW Rings exclusive hook. Majormarks.com, patreon.com slash majorpod, fan club, the subscription service, the family. Every week we give away a prize to a new and old subscriber. Who do we got? First time in a line, Zach Thompson. And classic superstar, um, ultimate member. So he might be in the chat. Dan Cowgill. Love it. This is the uh, the end of the month, depending when you're listening to this. I guess it's always going to be the end of the month. Definitely the end of the month, no matter what. No matter what. Uh, so the bonuses are up. The bonuses, bonuses were the up. Turbo Man. And what was yep. the other bonus? Was the it Allen? Steph, uh, the Steph oh, Delander. The Steph. That's right. Uh, the Steph Delander. I, I gave her the rub. Interview. And I, I aired her unaired pilot on That's Cooked. Ali was last month, but we got two bonuses for next month. Well, Heath is up too for this month. So yeah, we, we how did, did that go? We did a whole Q and A. Went great. Um, got him to cry again, of course. What yeah. is going um, on with this man? Yeah, it, it's a great one. We hit. We done most of the most of the questions for him or whatever. I had a great time uh, pre Christmas, and then we got it. <laughs> Shout up. out Steel Cage Customs. I was going through his eBay, and I saw that he had a Heath prototype from his last Elite. Yeah. So I said, "Dude, can I give that to Heath as a gift?" And he sent it to me. I sent it to Heath. And I and they were text messages exchanged, but I'm pretty sure he was crying. <laughs> pretty sure he was crying, but he was very moved and happy to be the owner of it. Ah, what uh, a great guy! Yeah. What a great. So I guy. said, "Merry Christmas!" But yeah, Oops. shout out Steel Cage Customs. And uh, if I remembered your new name on eBay, I would tell everybody. But shout out to Heath, by the way. One year of doing the pod uh, with wow. him, and he is um, certainly gotten better at technology in that one year. Well, that's great. An improvement. Yeah. It's kind of like yeah. me, guys. I never thought I'd get to this level. You can set up your whole ass podcast wow. thing by yourself. Wow. I'm like troubleshooting. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm doing all this stuff, man. <laughs> Good job. Uh, we got Figure Dissecting with Deep Freedom. I have the Let Him Breathe show. Mark has the Silver Linings. Do, do we want to announce the January bonus pods? Sure. So people know. So we have one. It's going to be a Q&A. We haven't done a, a Q&A in a while. It's a Q&A about the year 2023, our goals and uh, aspirations for 2024. The questions come from you guys, the major. I marks. thought they were just random questions. It's about that. Yes. Yeah. Because we we <laughs> today's years at, old. I really thought there was random questions. We did that at the end of the the New Year's. I thought that was to like the the, the New Year's episode. But then we there were so many left because yeah. it was such a long episode that we decided to continue answering those questions in a bonus episode. Okay, cool. And also, it's the 25-year anniversary. Well, this is according to Brian's math. I haven't double-checked this. Maybe I should have. Of the 1999 Royal Rumble. So we are going to do a watch-along of that Royal Rumble. Just the match. Not the whole pay-per-view, guys. The match. Where Vince McMahon... Man, I could do Mankind Rock instead if you guys are down. I think that's more... uh, I think the Rumble's better. I feel like it's more notorious, but your guys' call. Uh, I would pick the Rumble. I vote Rumble. Because Mankind Rock... Has you want you want the beyond, reaction? Beyond, oh, here comes here comes Blackjack Bradshaw. Sure, whatever. A lot of figures to talk about. Too. A lot of figure, yeah, a lot right. of figures to talk about. BCA right. figures. I yes. quit. Right. Uh, every month you get a card if you're in the Hard Foundation. Up this month, it's the second to last card of the year, and the card this month is Mance Warner SDL's boyfriend. She's building you, the boyfriend behind my back. How'd you track him down? <laughs> How'd you track him down? I, I, don't I guess you just asked Steph to to take care of it. <laughs> yeah. We gotta we gotta get him those cards though, Mark. They're on their way to you. Oh, okay. Awesome. Remember we were gonna do it at 
um, when he sees you. Okay, so I'll give them to Steph, and then Steph will have to give them to me. Yeah. Anything else on majormarks.com, Mark? Uh, no, I mean, look, there's there's a, there's four years of content on there. <laughs> you the entire FWF yeah, four catalog. years of stuff to go through. So just a knock million it all out. bonus episodes. There's so many bonus episodes on there. We couldn't. We don't even remember what we have. That's, that's how true. much stuff. No, that's, that's very true. Very years tough to, a bonus we, content. We basically deep dove into your entire careers, both of you guys. Every aspect, every detail. <laughs> We have a lot of history ofs too. So we have like bone crunching history ofs, like I think superstars, like maybe even one through nine up there. Oh, that's a great point, bro. Honestly, if you're fiending for more BCA content, we did literally every BCA in a series of bonus episodes. Well, just the the main line, the main line, the superstars line. And, and And it's all audio, but it's on there. Or if you're, you want to talk about some BCAs, what about the FWF? Right. Season one exactly. and two is up there, right? And BCA, three. BCAs in action. Oh, my guys. God. BCAs yeah. in action. Our figure fed that we did with the Bone Crunchers, an audio podcast about a figure fed during the pandemic. It's up there right now. Major marks. The pandemic was a wild time, guys. But but also, Broski doesn't he, – he, he wiped this out of his mind, but there was a season three that I destroyed him so bad he can't even remember it. Oh, yeah, of course. That's, but that's the season you cheated and you had someone else write your show. Oh, I did not. I had two people. We, we both tagged him. Fucking, yeah, fucking committee. Yeah, fucking committee. Yeah. All right, so listen, we got some follow-up here. Uh, I know it's after Christmas, but I have to read this. Did you see the <laughs> Twas the Night Before Christmas from Chris Grocock? Did you guys I see didn't. this? I didn't. Okay. Twas Chris, Chris the- is in the chat right now, so. All right. Twas the Night Before Christmas. In the major pod group, Broski's in New York with no time to poop. Uh, <laughs> silver balls hung on the gimmick tree with care in hopes that the Jack's episode soon would be aired. Major marks nestled all snuck in their, oh, sorry, all snug in their beds while visions of BCAs dance in their heads. SDL in her kerchief, Mance in his cap, settled down under. <laughs> For a long winter's nap. Not bare minimum selfies, not smart mark Twitch streams. Come Christmas morning, there's just one thing I need. When on the pod YouTube there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to YouTube, I flew like a flash, typed in the address, and hit enter so fast. Matt, Mark, and Brian, they started the show talking about figures from so long ago. <laughs> when what to my wandering eyes did appear? but figures with joints that <laughs> made sound you could hear. <laughs> 1996, the first figures came, and here are the first two series by name. Now Razor, now Diesel, now Goldust and Taker. <laughs> the Hitman, Shawn Michaels, Owen Hart, and Vader. Ultimate Warrior, fresh off his return. Uh, with edits from Mark and pics from D Freedom, the figs came to life like the first time we'd seen them. <laughs> we got box sets and bad boys and repaints galore, but every new series just made us want more. Signatures, managers, and even tag teams, referees, announcers, and wrestling rigs. The figures are great when you have them in hand, unless, of course, you want them to stand. <laughs> 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 We still praise the line to whoever will listen, even if some of those figures were misses. As the episode ended, I checked on eBay. The price started jumping on all the BCAs. Then the boys said, as they started to leave, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, let them breathe. Wow. Yes. Chris Grocock, like, you just made my cock grow on that. that Thank you so much. Legit poetry, dude. Holy shit. Unbelievable. I don't think he's in here right now, but he thanks is. Very he's much. here. He was. I saw him say something earlier. Yeah, he's here. Wow, man. That was, man. Very impressive. Yeah, we'll that make that into fantastic. a movie. <laughs> That'll be the Christmas really special next yeah. year. A couple other things. See the, the AEW flash sale over on shopaew.com? Yeah, I I got um, myself a couple of. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was going to turn down twelve dollar hooks. I, yeah, and that's the exclusive hook. That's yeah, why I was like three thousand fifty bucks to twelve bucks is a big drop. Yeah, like yeah, I so, got two hooks and two hangmans. Wow, yeah, for that's seventy dollars, wow. and they were total, including shipping and tax. Uh, Seventy two bucks. Let's do a live look. What's left from that? Because things are flying. Seventy five percent off. By the way. 
That's wild price for this exclusive. Man. And, and not a lot of people knew about it because it didn't say the price, but when you put it in the cart. It's very, it and I've never seen them do a sale like that before. It's very confusing. All right. You had to add it to, it would say the full price on the store, and then when you added it, it would in your cart, it would automatically, oh, so the hook and hangman still available. They sold out of the jade. Uh, that wasn't available the other day when I got Series it. Series 11, Jungle Boy sold out. The Jericho uh, CMLL sold out. Damn, and I think it, I might need that. And an M- MJF sold out. But the rest of the... Fi- oh, and Dustin Rhodes on match one finally sold out. And Frankie Kazarian on Rival 5. So they still have Damn. a decent amount of figures. So what? What? how much are the $25 ones if they're 75% off? Like three, four I'm bucks. I'm not good at math. Me either. Not a lot of money. That's yeah, wild. Five bucks or something like that. They're still, still there. Well, I didn't get any, but is I, there, I would. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I'd be safe to say that maybe Shop AEW isn't going to be carrying figures anymore. I, I mean, I thought that was an obvious. I mean, they haven't got anything really in, le- you know, lately, and yeah. they're blowing these out. So I thought that was obvious. Um, <sighs> guys, our, our major crate for processing tees. People have been hit. getting them. Big hit. I haven't got mine yet. People said the best crate ever. Me neither. I don't even know what's in I, it. I haven't got mine yet either. Um, I'm, I ordered a bunch. I'm exci- We'll talk about it more later on the show, but I'm excited to get mine because there's two new brawlers, which means two new chases. And I think every item is an item that people might uh, use or collect. So be on the lookout for that. There might even be some left over on Pro Wrestling Tees. So check that out. Also, I think our Super 7 Series 2 are finally coming. Brian and I gave the okay to Super 7 to start the production. And we were told this okay, if given, will supersede Chinese New Year to stop yeah. any slowdown. So, so we cross your fingers, folks. Every D Freedom uh, change that he wanted because it was either this or the, be delayed even more. So, like, all right, no figures, absolutely perfect. This is good enough for us. I mean, it's pretty damn close. It's things like. What like the, the, font, the font? The font on Broski's butt should have been a little bigger, right? That's the it's stuff things we're talking that are, about. I don't even know yeah. if a regular person would never even. I just want these in my hands stuff already. Has changed. Yeah, yeah. I just want these in my hands already. So if you order, I mean, we're gonna. Is it gonna? It's gonna be close to two years from the pre-order that people are gonna get these in hand, huh? Oh, is it that long? It will if it gets to the springtime. Man. It's well, crazy. listen, better late than never. <laughs> it's freaking right? wild. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, did you watch This Is Awesome on Peacock, the WWE show about so. figures? I watched it. I watched it with McKenzie. <laughs> I'm going to give you my review of it next week, but I wanted to hear your opinion. Next I didn't week. see it. Oh, okay. No, it's fantastic, it. dude. So, I mean, people have been asking a million questions about this. So, shout out to Scott Demore, my boss, who gave me – WWE reached out to Matt and I. Of course – you know, the indie God can do whatever he wants. <laughs> so he could be a part of this episode. I had to get special permission from TNA. Well, a, nobody asked me for permission. Being a contract. My image on that. On that superstar. Show. So uh, he gave the okay. And uh, that's how I was able to appear on that. Because that's all brand new footage. Also at the height of my like sickness. If you guys can't tell, I can like barely speak in it. But other than that, uh, I thought it was pretty damn awesome. Like very flattering to have like our actual careers and wrestling figure podcasting covered as well as our toy line major bendies and stuff that gets a decent amount of coverage so um pretty cool thing to be part of it it's done very well it's edited very fun very easy i can't wait to check it's it great, out it's a great I've watch seen, i've seen the videos that have been on social media they can, they contacted me a while back about it and i did it so like we brian and i don't do it at the same time so you can see like gargano you pixel and all have your major bendy in hand like I, so think I think I did. The, I think I did the interview and mentioned it, and they're like, "Oh shit, this is cool." Well, I didn't have him in hand. And you're at you're at the performance center. I think all the yeah. other shots are in Connecticut, right? And the guy basically told me like, if somebody did like the bump or whatever was there, he'd pull them in and ask them a couple just to get anything. Smart. But That's like smart. the average, obviously, we talk about this all the time. The average WWE superstar isn't a diehard wrestling figure fan, so they don't have they right. don't have like the the sound bites he's looking for you know i think that's why like me and you and sam roberts kind of really put the pieces together in a lot of the stories i thought the extra people also did, did have some good insight you know yeah, personal it's because it's fun and personal right you know <clears throat> yeah. it's like oh shit i feel like a kid again you, but that's you need a, you need and i think that's the message you really want to push in this thing right 
Yeah, I'll say um, <clears throat> my <clears throat> I watched the whole thing. I think it's unbelievable that they mentioned the podcast and uh, the Bendy's line. Obviously, it, I think for our fans, you know, it's feels similar to uh, you know the Netflix uh, toys that made us. In that, like, it's it's pretty general information. This is a lot of information that we all know and have been covering and talking about because we're, time, we're the diehards. Everyone listening right, but to it's this, still, everybody, yeah, it's still slick enough right. to. Um, be, to have, be entertained watching it, even if you are a, a diehard, and we know all that information. So I thought they did a great job, and I think it's cool that a lot of new people who you know loosely pay attention to this stuff will be able to see that. Yeah. So very, yeah, but thank you WWE episode. and everyone who you know decided, hey, let's put this podcast in there. That was really cool. So that was I, super I cool to be on screen as TNA star. Brian Myers and not former WWE superstar Kurt Hawkins. You know what I mean? That Except I was, I was called. Broski was TNA I, star. Too. Which, which popped the shit out of me, which <laughs> is a spoiler. Not. You got traveled to hard to kill. What's going on, bro? Hey, I told Scott, I said, Scott, if you're, if you're doing this, you got to pay up. Uh, <laughs> I know, but um, listen, I already complained to WWE to try to change it. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks. He, uh, he wanted an indie God. No, I want a death match kick. Death <laughs> Uh, uh, so yeah, that I can't. I'm gonna watch that probably tonight. Can't wait to see it. Also, guys, we heard you about the Bulldogs. A lot of fans wanted one more week, or they just had more time. So we said, okay, here we go. One more week. Get the British Bulldogs. Use that holiday money. Buy the British Bulldogs. But this Friday, we, that's it. We we accept Target gift cards now over at MajorPodMerch.com. No, why? So how are the people gonna use their holiday? Gifts. Device. You don't get any cash. cash. Yeah, I, my my grandma gave me cold hard cash. Yeah, yes, right. pal, a fresh hundo. Old school. Thanks, right. nanny. Oh, wait, fresh okay. hundo. Let me rewind that. We accept cash now at Major <laughs> You know what I'm saying, guys? Come mm. on. But uh, I held these in my hand at Brian's house for the first time this week. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I think they're going to be, and not that I'm not huge British Bulldog fans, but I think. Like, I wish the macho was the best one, you know, but the British Bulldogs, I, th- I think that Dynamite Kid it's might so be the good. best. Right. It's definitely the best Dynamite Kid figure ever, but I think it's the best big rubber guy ever. It's hard to really come across on these pictures, especially because that's a painted that's resin. It's a hand it's painted resin sample. Yeah, that's not exactly finished. Just holding it, looking at it. It's, it was just unbelievable in hand. I can't wait for you fans to get it. But yeah, if you're looking on YouTube right now, the Marty Sarge Flair, that's over, pal. You have to buy them in the secondary market. I'm sure Ringside will have some, but those should be in stock literally, I think, any day. They should be coming Very from, soon. from China. So yeah. pick up those British Bulldogs. And of course, the Andres and Macho Man. Oof, that's probably going to be springtime. A lot of FOMO in these drop, I bet. So get those British Bulldogs today. It's all, all part of building a brand, right? You know, we can only do so much. Uh, we just appreciate those that, you know, got on board early, right? Absolutely. Um, I know next week we're doing our year end award show, but I wanted to say, guys, do you guys have any figure goals for the year? Like anything you want, <laughs> a figure you want to get, something you want to reorganize, uh, a collection you want to start? I mean, that was what I did this year with the, the construction that went on my house. So I don't think so. I think I want to just enjoy what I've done, you know? I have two big goals. Two giant Uh-oh. goals, actually. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> well, you'll, I'll talk about it in weekly purchases, but I just got the, the NECA sewer layer. Right? Oh my god! And um, I, my Ninja Turtle display is uh, a broski mess. It, it <laughs> like I, I have twelve boxes of figures I have not opened. Wow, the, the and those are not itself, those are not easy to open because it's all interchangeable, like parts. I and know accessories. it's obnoxious. I my obnoxious. display itself is is. Too, there's too much stuff in it. the The turtle van is on the floor in front of it. Um, I need to I need to talk to backdrop guy. I need to possibly get a new display case. Oh, so I yes, need to I do a, a, a whole revamp with the turtle thing. Now, after that is done, I would love to do a professional. And I was talking to my brother about this: a professional toy room tour. I've never done that. I've never put it on the channel. The only thing I've ever done was like with my phone going through the room quick. So I would love to do a real one. You guys both have them on the channel. Um, people really like it. So, yeah, that's that's something I'd love to do this year. So I've been mentioning that with this off time, I've been reorganizing and cleaning my room. So I'll definitely – That's I'm not even counting that as a goal. That's something I want to finish <sighs> in the next couple of weeks. And I do too. Mark, want to do a, a part two mm-hmm. professional video 
uh, toy room tour. But when I was in Brian's room the other day and I saw how nice it looked as I was leaving, there was something just, just, just popped. It popped right in, right in my eyesight. And I said, I fucking wait, need wait, it. My wife, my wife had her boobs out. No, I said, I need it. What the? <laughs> I want it. I'm not talking about Liz Meyer's boobs. I'm talking. <laughs> Oh my God! What is happening? I'm talking about <laughs> just the setup. There it just popped right in my face. Like what could it be? Just Toys Bendem Series One. He just had a mint. Oh, that is in box on the way out. Yeah, on the literally on the way out, and uh, that's something I feel like I have the mint loose, but I would like the entire set. I'd like to accumulate the entire set mint loose. I'd also would like to accumulate because I realize I have Jack's Bone Crusher Series One mint on card. I have Titan Tron Series One mint on card. I would like to get Ruthless Aggression Series One mint on card, but like it has to be a mint mint cards because I'm I would keep a mint on card. So if you have those, any of those three, <laughs> hit me up. But yeah, that's mint, minty mint is minty mint's gonna be tough. Yeah. But then my goal, you know, I'm building a new toy room, but it's to keep what I have now displayable, fun, organized, even when I get new things, uh, to not let it turn into a mess like I did this past year. So yeah. Those are, those are my goals for the year. <laughs> All right. And uh, I guess up next is the news brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon. The Major Pod Network has partnered with our favorite adult beverage, Paps Blue Ribbon. Everybody needs some liquid courage to make their own weekly purchases. Scratch that figure itch and scratch that PBR itch. If you're listening to this, you're already a major mark. Now it's time to become a major PBR mark. Use hashtag major PBR and post your pictures and videos of you major marking out with some Paps. Paps Blue Ribbon and the Major Pod Network, the tag team champions of the world of the world major pbr forever welcome to the news brought to you by paps blue ribbon every single week use the hashtag major pbr if you choose your picture or video you will get a little prize this is from awesome joe is at major pod Doing some grocery shopping and found these hashtag major PBR socks for a guy that doesn't drink. My wife is starting to wonder why I am amassing this big PBR collection. <laughs> PBR sex socks. Those are pretty cool, actually. I oh, would say yeah. PBR is the most fashionable beer brand in 100%. the world today. There's like 100%. so much, right? What other? There's no other franchise doing that, right? Yeah, color me crazy, but uh, I, I I feel like. It's way cooler to wear PBR socks than Miller Light socks. You know what I mean? PBR is cool, a, bro. It's a fair, fair it makes you hard. Yeah. It makes you hard. <laughs> it's hard. Jesus. Uh. It does. Uh, this is a, what do you guys think of this? So, you know, when you go to a relative's house for Christmas, you usually bring like a bottle of wine or something like that. Sure. You no, know, always red. I brought always red to. <laughs> Of course you did. That's not. A, that's not it's even. It's like regifting somebody. It's not even like a. No, nice it's not regifting. I first of all, what do you mean? It's limited edition wine. I fucking brought. <laughs> if I had my own wine, what I would. Nice guy. I would make sure that I went to more holiday parties just so I could do that same thing. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Shit. How many holiday parties this year? Only two. Only two. Fuck. Yeah. All right, guys. Lot of news. We'll we'll try to rapid fire through it because some is way more important than others. But let's start here in the news section. What I thought was interesting. We have a Sabu update. So it is the year 2024. It's about to be 2024. We still don't have this in hand. We might we we might need to hit the glass for all the details on this. <laughs> uh, there it is. Whoa. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't even, guys. <laughs> Ladies, lady and gentlemen, I don't know what I'm looking at right now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh crap, hold on. I that was gonna I was gonna Oh my god, what is what is what, what, what here we are. T Freedom is here. Oh my god. What the all right, right, pal. Baxter Stockman over here. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> D, tell us about 
a condensed version of what's going on here. Epic Toys, Toys, Sabu. When did, when would this go up for pre order? I pre ordered it. I think May of twenty twenty two. May of twenty twenty two. I have it in my my email. So we're we're almost at a full two years. Now keep in mind there was a company change, blah 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 blah. And I believe it is shipping. Is that the news now? No. 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 <laughs> That's not what they said. Yeah, that's not what they said. All right, so hit us, D. Cliff Notes. I mean, yeah, the, the, now it's in the EP sample stage. It's that goes getting, uh, I guess, slathered on here. But uh, yeah, it's uh, conflicts greatly from the uh, paint model. So I, I, mean, I, I think it looks nice enough. Wait, wait, yeah, I don't wait. see anything. Oh, hold on a second. Bad. Are those pants like purple? Yeah, it, it's a completely different color from what was shown on the Paint Master. So, oh really? Yeah, it's completely different. It's it's all over the place. The face <laughs> is all over the place. <laughs> there's no scars in the arms. There's no scars in the back. Just scars on the on the torso. It, yeah, they they tried. I guess. Yeah, they tried. Ooh, it makes sense though to say it. It's it just gonna... just. But there's not even like one more of these figures planned, right? Like this, as far as like part reusing. Who would anything? ever? buy from this company after this I know that's what I'm saying it's like and even so even if they (sighs) announced a new figure unless they've been working in silence and say oh and we got this which is possible and we're rooting (laughs) for these guys and this is is the end and it's like you have Dynamite Kid and Sabu who I'm pretty sure never wrestled each other it's pretty rough man I'm I'm, I'm rooting for them and I hope this I pre-ordered two of these too I hope it doesn't suck I want to have a nice Sabu figure then I want him to sign one of them so but it's all over the place. It's all over the place. That color. Yeah. I know Sabu's worn a lot of color pants. I don't know if this is one. No, <laughs> it's like a dark purple, close yeah. to maroon. And, I don't think and, it looks and, that and, bad. And the, and the purple is painted instead of actually being molded. But yeah, there, there's a lot. If they want more details and uh, some consultation services, uh, yeah, they know where to all find me. Right. <laughs> I think it's too well, late, pal. They're they're well, delayed beyond delayed. I think it's. This is what it is. Well, we'll bring it back in, I'm sure, later. Well, I'll just, stick, I'll just stick around for, for the for the Mattel news since you guys are going to need oh, what, what, what's Oh, what, what's this epic right here? This they, these, bulldogs? These are the Bulldogs? Yeah, these are the uh, EP samples for the Bulldogs. Those look, I those they look, look great. Those, those look, look really good. Yeah. I ordered Demolition and uh, Powers of Paint, so hopefully I'll be receiving those soon and then I can review them. But I think I think these look fantastic. I don't even remember them making this announcement. This is like all brand new to my brain. <laughs> yeah, sure they showed off. They showed off hand painted protos about like uh, probably like two months ago or whatever. Pre order these already? I don't remember. I that. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's yeah. it's already concluded. I, but I, uh, I, I I'm not going to pre order anymore from them. I'm just going to get it from somebody once it comes in stock. Okay, that's my new. You know, until they prove otherwise. Right. But yeah, so nothing against them. You know. The only the only downside with Chella's figures is that they're all composed of PVC instead of actually having an ABS torso. So yeah, it's a yeah. rubber almost. And, a rubber. And it's, yeah, it's it's the wrong hardness, so it's, it doesn't feel. It's the gotten same. way better since that Nick Aldis though. I'll tell oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, Nick Aldis is what we call it a rubber ducky. That rubber thing. ducky. Yeah. It's got all, all these all these all these places that are doing this uh, Hasbro style form factor. They're they're improving as they as they go. So just even Mitch learning, learning along even, the way. You have to say even Mitch the. Well, yeah, yeah, it's it's the truth. I mean, yeah, I mean, yes. you, 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 find, you find a new sculptor that actually is actually has experience. That's so then, kind yeah. of a compliment, all right. It's kind of a that's a, that was an objective compliment. <laughs> all right, objectively we'll back, we'll, complimentary you were right there. We'll come back to Doctor D in a second. Uh, Arn Anderson, he he's mentions the major bendies on his show, but also kind of slipped that he's got a power town coming out. Which yeah, Arn, Arn's. Mattel stuff and it's horrible. Mattel's the best ever, but man, they didn't ever really like nailed an art because they get him so so listen, skinny. And but, Arn, Arn is not a fat man, but he's a big beefy man, a thick, a thick boy. And then like yeah. the quads on some Mattels are just never quite there. Like way too like I remember they finally made that like Rusev Day Rusev with those quads. I was like, okay, so yeah, Pill understands this, but I don't know. Arn's one that doesn't really have it. I'm excited for it, but I'm very excited. But like, when is that going to happen? Because he, that would make him maybe series three. Yeah, well, we'll see. Still we'll a small see. toy company, guys. I'm, listen, I'm very excited. Listen, I love Paratown. We're still we have figures coming out. We want. Them to, I fucking love them. 
Uh, we talked about this last week, the, the, the gold dust prototype popping up. Well, Mark Bushy, not only did he buy that, but he bought this Shawn Michaels Bone Cruncher Series 1. I don't even know what. There's the gold dust pictures. You know, he opened it up. All it's, resin. It's the mold, right? Oh, but that's the, we're talking about the gold dust right now. But the uh, Shawn Michaels is the actual mold. That's which really is cool. Pretty fucking unique. That's so cool. Is yeah. he selling this? I'm, Bushy Bush, sells everything. Bush sells everything. He is. He is Man, sells I, everything. I, if I was VSK, I'd be inquiring. At least. I, if, it, cool, right? if it was Razor Ramon, I would have that. I'd be inquiring at one hundred percent. Man, that looks wild. But I, it, it's just perfect timing with the history of the Jacks BCA. You just like stick your kid's play doh in there and make a fucking in theory, right? Right. Make a oh, that's pretty cool. Truck. Yeah. Right. Man. That Damn. Rules. It's so awesome. So it's Bushy also, always, if that's, that's how they're made, how did Jax mismatch parts so often? What do you mean? Like, how does, like, a Sean have gold dust arms and shit? Like, it's well, all right it, there. It, yeah, but, but they yes, get yeah, but put they, in a bucket. assembled at the they, factory later. I know, yeah. but it's just like, you'd think they'd be together. It's the assembly. Maybe maybe the razor legs fell in the bucket by accident. <laughs> know. Who knows? Man. <laughs> It's yeah. awesome. That's, that's a cool piece of history. Though. I think that's yeah. really cool. Imagine getting that sign by Shawn Michaels and that big HB cock on the back. You know, <laughs> there's one right there right over my shoulder. There we go. Uh, all right, let's talk about these new Mattel figures that were shown off by, I guess, the new Elite Squad. Yeah, this was so random. Squad. Like this just like came out of nowhere the other day. Some cool stuff. Some head scratcher stuff. These are the the knuckle crunchers. I like uh, them. Remind me of I, Hasbro's. I like them. I don't. I'm not I don't hate them. The problem <laughs> like with, with all these figures that they do is that they they you know there's only a certain shelf life and then it's done. So you don't really get more characters. Yeah, this won't last two years. So it's, yeah, so it's okay. Cody, it's uh, Seamus. Got like a little Hasbro style. Wait a minute. Action. Wait a minute. That, that is clearly the elite head, right? Like the exact mm-hmm. thing. Or or or, I, oh, or hit okay. the glass. <laughs> the n- new song. This song's a banger. <sighs> yeah. So these got crunchable arms. Yeah. So these uh, are. Mm. They got crunchable arms. They got the mechanism inside the arms. Like a bone cruncher. Yeah. Basically. Whoa. That's cool. That's that's the whole gimmick. That's wait, is it like a bone cruncher, like it, the joint bends, yeah. or is it like a ratchet yeah. sound? It's 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 just like the bone crunchers, basically. It's it's got it's got the mechanism in it, similar to what the Barbies have. So I, I'm I'm not sure if they just crunch back and forth, or if they actually lock in place like a like a Barbie doll. So Barbie fashion doll. But, but you're yeah. saying like at the elbow joint, yeah, not like it's at the it's at the elbow joint. Yeah, is it? That's not how I see it. But I, I mean, who? Me. I mean that's 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 what they were saying when they hyped this up at uh, what, what were these? Uh, I think this was Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, so they, they were said, showing they, they were showing there first. They right? said crunchable. Yeah, they said crunchable arms, but I'm not sure. I mean, like you're saying, Matt, it could be just just ratchets at the at the at the. I the, feel uh, like it's gonna be like broken Hasbro's, like click click boom Hasbro's, like with that sound. <sighs> I mean, that's what it looks like from that that's photo. Like that, you lift it up. I don't know, and then it comes back. I don't know. We'll or see. Like those bone, the bone crunches, the later ones where you twist their neck and they would crack. You know. In a couple of weeks from now, when Matt Cardona walks past that Cody in Target, he's, it's coming home with him. So we'll know. Oh, It'll be we'll get a, it. we'll get a It'll full review. April or spring, or when the, yeah, Whenever. April or May, when that probably. Well, hits if Ringside gets him, I'll get it from Ringside early. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Day? Cool. So, yeah. is that a reused head from Elite or? Uh, yeah, th- this is similar to the retros, to where they scale down the heads and uh, they just use existing to, uh, existing assets, existing portraits. So yeah, they just scale them down. Same applied to pretty much all the characters. Same applied to Lashley here. Got it. Austin, cool, it's a weird, it's a weird mixture of people, huh? I hate when they just throw in Austin and Rocks. Just, I get it, but stop. Seamus, <laughs> Cody, Austin, and Lashley. And then the first wave had Rock, Rollins, uh, Roman, and Cena. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They look well, you cool. Got a nice though. little set there. Yeah, they look cool. Just and these your, are the the new Target crushed. Legends. This this set kind of blows my mind a little bit. It's the Sultan. <laughs> Solid Ali. I'm unbelievable, by the way. <laughs> Hogan and Captain Lou. Let's go one at a time. You want to start Sultan? Or Hogan? Oh. I'll start Hogan. 
New Japan Hogan. New Japan Hogan, which I thought the the one previous set in the robe was like New Japan Hogan. No, that's heel WWF debut Hogan. Well, this is the I'll definitely be getting this one, you know, because I'm a Japanese legend now with the Japanese t shirt that has like it's, the, it's the his, uh, gear. It's his popey, but uh art you know, articulated six inch figure. That Pretty pose cool. with the with the finger point is like that's like the Hogan pose. Pretty cool. I don't I don't know if I'd have him in that Japanese t shirt. Like unless D could find me some like photo evidence of there that. is a photo. There, of there, there is like a candid photo, like, yeah. like from like him. Yeah, like it's, it's like either. a backstage shot or like wow. hanging out somewhere, or or, or he could but. be at like um, the steakhouse. So. <laughs> yeah. Rivera just wearing this. So those aren't like ring sunglasses. Those are like the airport sunglasses. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's not the ring gear. Not no way. Uh, I listen. I dig it. And there's a, a variant in an alternate color with the uh, the blue boots, the red knee pads. I'm just going to get the one with the, the black and silver. Same. I, I don't need the chase, but I want You are going to get it. I, oh, yeah. That's cool to me. That's unique enough. I, I, I it's, the, it's the year of Hogan, who, by the way, guys. <laughs> He's got to be breaking records for releases. I love it. Calendar year. I have a Hogan right now on my desk, but also, Mark, Hulk Hogan texted me happy birthday. I know. <laughs> I saw it. Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> no, I wish are I you, Are you Jesus now? Was your birthday yesterday? <laughs> No, uh, I have the Indie God. Indie oh, Jesus. No. Yeah. <laughs> he texted me, "Merry Christmas." I couldn't believe it. The Hulk like, Hulk like, oh, so I, I, when I saw that, I assumed you said it first. No, I don't send Christmas texts. I don't want to be that annoying guy. What does the back of the box say? Do we have that photo? No, I didn't. I love, love the, the, uh, I love the to see the copy, one. like what they even say, because this it is... says Ichiban in it. So, like, it does reference, like. I guess like what it's somewhat based off of. I mean, I can pull it up like, real quick. I'm but, just saying like what? Yeah, because this is one of those ones that I'm like, Bill justified this because he's a Japanese wrestling mark. Like this and, really. And thank you, not, Bill. This, I, I, mean, I mean, I appreciate it because it's unique and uh, Hogan actually want to get. But like, how does this really translate to WWE history? There's still a lot to cover with Hogan, surprisingly. Yeah, so. bro, they still, still don't have a 1990 Hulk Hogan, a 1990 91 Hogan. Yeah. Hulk rules Hogan. They don't have it. Well, technically, that that other one was that the green, uh, was like 96 that, release. That, that mask one. Which one? The 96 one had the Hulk Rose bandana. It didn't come with the shirt. Oh, so no, like, the one, yeah, the one that came take, with the stupid take, helmet and the. Yeah, the motorcycle thing. one. Yeah. The one, has yeah. no shirt for it. We're yeah. Not, we don't do deep freedom. I know. I know but like here. technically, well, you're not going to be seeing it revisited for quite some time, Matt. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's move along. All right, let's move along. <laughs> Captain Lou, someone we needed big That's time. Great. Awesome. Reminds I mean, it, me of the, the his LJ. best figure ever. His best figure ever. Bro. Oh, I'm glad they have the uh, the gold plate or whatever. You it break is. that over your uh, he Slater uh, elite Man. like Cindy Lauper did. Unruh. What a great, great figure! It's <clears throat> weird that we got the superstars first, but I'm not complaining. Whatever, I knew it was coming. I love it's, it. It's really nice, man. Really nice. Yep. I can't wait to add that to my collection. 100. percent Next up. Not sure if I'm adding this. No way. Muhammad Ali. I thought it was the exact one of the San Diego Comic Con two pack. We asked uh, Mattel. They said no. This is from like a little like enhancement match he had beforehand. And he was got interviewed by Vince or something. Yeah. So I guess it it has different colored gloves. D. Do you know anything about this? That's about it, right? Yeah, I think the socks might be different, and probably. I mean, no, the, there's the deck was probably different i mean i don't have the comic-con release to like compare i mean i can look up pictures real quick and oh, that's okay. give me no. a rundown but the, yeah, don't worry the, about the it. meat's yeah. not on the bone here for me and well also if, that, that was an ultimate by the way this is just an elite so if you really mm, want to break it yeah, down and but. once again this is going to be available at mass so consumers can pick this up through exclusively through targets so. honestly you want to hear something guys isn't the comic-con one still available on mattel creations possibly yeah i think i might off. end up getting this only because that Comic Con one, I think I'm gonna leave mint in package. That's a and good I idea. Might, and I might get this one, you know, displayed. Yeah, yeah. Oh I would display God. the other one mint because that box is so nice. Right. I'll probably end up getting it to be honest. But I'm all. Hey, listen, if this opens up the door to get like an LT Rodman, call Malone. That's what I want, right? Yeah. So I, I'm all for it. We'll see what um, I'm doing. The more Mattel, support it gets, the, the Mattel creations. The more years it goes into. Still has the Muhammad Ali set. Wow! 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 Interesting. Yeah. And what was that? It is that all four? 
No. Oh, the, Sultan. So, yeah. Sultan. Yeah. Oh, my Sultan. God. Oh, Bro, here we could, go. Like, could what? be. On Earth. Could be 2024 figure of the year. I know. And it's like, we just started. Like, what? This is what I've been begging for yep. for forever. Think like, about I how like, bad and untoyetic the Bone Cruncher is compared to this. Because you're just not. He, I think it's very toyetic, just not thick enough. They just didn't eat. Oh, no. They didn't put the effort into like, like this. Like every little detail here is in I, this I, I, I don't know i disagree i think they had it, it was it was cost reduced from from the previous uh from the color render it, it really? should have gold it should have gold on the top but obviously all those operations were eliminated there's a lot of stuff going on here it, it looks awesome i love the the cape That's, I the, love the cape is great. the helmet and the cape the helmet is unreal. The hel- i guess you're right the bone cutter doesn't have the helmet no it's not like as but exciting guys, as this you know what we need now we need mr bob backland they have him i think that'd be cool bow tie Gray suit. I gotta watch some Sultan back to remember. Even all I remember is WrestleMania 13 with the Rock. Other than that, it's like. And, and technically, this has this has the uh, the elf boots. He didn't wear the elf boots initially. So in the studio shots, I mean, we, we <laughs> they uh, they actually are flat boots, but he doesn't have the 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 moons on on, on them in the studio shots. So there was some uh, mishmashing going on here. So that's uh, fine with me because I yeah, want these. I know. Boots. Yeah, I know. Definitely, yeah. that was definitely the route to go. But technically. If you're doing the elf boots, it should have uh, the the little uh, gold moons on. It's the, crazy uh, though. Like kick what? Bands, yeah. How much of that figure they'll, they'll never use again on anything? It's all unique. Yeah, yeah. It's wild. It's interesting. And guys, so we know this firsthand, and we're, we 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 rip apart figures all the time for lack of detail. We're doing it with our super sevens with the help of D Frida. But we're, I'm not going to say what figure we're a big rubber guy we're in the process of making right now. It's like sometimes it's better to be toyetic. And then it is to be accurate. Yeah. Well, that's. that's I, I completely agree. If it's not, you know? the problem is. That's Toy Industry 101. I mean, right. yes. look at, look, But the yeah. problem is when you when it translates to wrestling, sometimes it's like you're depicting this moment in time. It all depends so on. So when who... you get creative liberties on something like that, that's that's a gray area where it gets real weird. Like, well, that, no, it's, trust me, it's very weird, but yeah. it, it, it's a, a, a fight that we all have to battle. Yeah. But the Sultan could just be whatever the Sultan run. It wasn't much, you know. Like, right. make me the best Sultan ever. It's my only one that will be in my collection, and we're yes. done. The Sultan music burned in my brain because it was on one of those albums. Was it a Full Metal? I'm, I'm not, whatever. Was super it? popular no. album? No, it was I don't think so. No, it's not, Mark. Yeah, it is. Hundred percent. I, I, Mark, I bet my Greg the Hammer Valentine. It is not. On it's one not of on albums. a single album. I not, think not so. a CD. Maybe like an iTunes thing now, but not an album. Yeah, I'm actually. I actually think Broski's right. I am right. Tim, then when did I listen to the Sultan music? So much? <laughs> you were just rocking out the Sultan's theme song. How, how would I have? It's like Tape downloading recorded. wasn't even a thing. I don't know. So on Napster, the first thing you did was steal the Sultan's theme song. <laughs> <laughs> very <laughs> likely. Ugh. To be honest, very likely. What? The <laughs> back in, back in the day, WWF on AOL, you could download the entrance theme, so that was perfect for me for my fig feds. <clears throat> it was like official. You weren't stealing. It wasn't right, like right, right, LimeWire right. or Napster. It's just Chic's song, by the way. It's not like a different song. No, yeah. I think no, I think that becomes Chic's song. Oh, that's the one I think of every time the Chic ever did anything after right, the, but his I, run. I, 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 I believe it's Sultan's song first, and then it becomes the Chic's like similar. Similar with Lawler, like Lawler's theme was used for King Harley Race, and then it became Lawler. Right. So. <laughs> Kurt like Angle's the, was the, the Patriots. Patriots. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. AJ Styles good. was supposed to be Cowboy James Storm in NXT. Crazy. You guys know that? All right. Well, great set at Target. No, no, uh, that's that's be- a fun set. I mean, I understand why Muhammad Ali has to get more releases and stuff, but yeah. other than that, what a fun, unique set. Let's talk about this big boy. Ultimate Yoko Zuda. A down. must get. I'm down. Yeah, I love it. An absolute must get. He. I saw a couple people complaining about the arms. I'm okay. I don't think it's that bad. The it's better than what was too skinny. used on the. Better than what was used on the dusty roads and such. So yeah. and the earthquake. So I think it's I, fantastic. There's a chase in alternate gear. I will not be getting the chase. Same, but this I also one, have to cut a figure I never thought I'd ever cut. That elite Yoko. Yeah, that's crazy. My right? only complaint, my only nitpick, it wouldn't have really been accurate for this this red and white. But I would have included uh, a head with the beard and the longer hair. Uh, in the other one, yes, for sure, that would have been cool. Because they're they're if you're doing it by, I don't feel like you need two though. 
What do you mean? You would have been buying two to display one. With I would have been one. buying two. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because what I'm saying is, if you we're talking about accuracy here, if you want an accurate figure on display, Mattel has not made an accurate Yokozuna with the beard. The only one they've made is the white and black, which he never wore with the beard. Right. So, I still think it's awesome. I think it's great. I'll be getting it for sure. But uh, I'm only getting one. What about you? No, I'm only getting the the regular one with the because in my mind that's how I picture Yokozuna, right? Yeah, the black black sash, red tights. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's great. Good job from Mattel. Other and is that a uh, that's going to be a Target exclusive? Yeah, all the uh, Ultimate Edition Legends are uh, customized programs with uh, Targets. So. Right. Cool. Uh, Hangman and a page brawler. Pro Wrestling Tees, two weeks only. It's been a long time since he's had a brawler. I think he's like a year one brawler. Wow. Guy, right? 2018, 2017, yeah. yeah. Damn, so this thing I'm sure is going to fly. That had, the, that had the noose, so this is like entrance vest. I mean, well, I think the other one had the entrance vest, but this one has, yeah, all the all the bells and whistles. Cool. More AEW stuff. We have an update on what those those chases were for the upcoming AEW figures. It's, it's CM Punk. Which There's the yellow. We've seen then- better photos since last week. I think the head skin's all right. I think it's okay. I think the beard is a little too thick. Maybe, but like we've seen major marks who have gotten it in hand. And I guess there's like, because of the shipping issues going on, like this went to like Europe because they don't have to go the same route as things coming here. So people were able to uh, get them first. Ringside posted uh, all new pictures. So we see the Chase Brody Lee, which has like a mask on his face or is it like a bandana? It's like a ski mask one. Yeah. Instead of the other one where it's... uh got horns and such okay, on it, so. i dig that and then the cm punk in the, is red, the, the red awesome is this am i mistaken or do they usually change the photo on the box as well yeah this this photo box the photo on the box was changed the back no, i know the, the, but do they always do that for the change yeah yeah they do yeah okay. well it looks good by the way book to good itis mark rattel Knew that Brody was the chase last week and didn't tell us because he was keeping it a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. If, I didn't know if what it was public. But, I, shit. but Brody had said a long time ago that he had was getting two figures. You know, somebody who doesn't. He's getting three. He's got a blood was, was that ringside? Right. What, was that back in February, Mark? When you when you guys were on the Twitch thing for a Revolution Fan Fest or I, this, whatever that was? This God. was a long time ago. We, yeah, so that's probably what it was. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't, now I feel less. Uh, but. For you know the time. other thing, the thing about it was like you know somebody who's not really in the figure world, you, they tell you you're getting two figures. You, uh, it's like I, I don't know if they really understand what that means. Right, you know, it's the right. same amount of figures. There's one different. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they're like, I think I don't know, but I, he he understands it now. But I'll at tell the you time, this. he thought it's he was not, getting three. Figures. Not, I was getting three. Not yeah, a knock on Jazz but guts. just uh, an observation. I was thinking to myself the other day, like if you would have told me this time last year. At this time this year, I wouldn't have a claim figures yet in my hand. I would have been like, you're crazy. But it's true. That's well, kinda, even this group. <laughs> yeah, I, they're I, so close. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have them. But still, even but this still. group, like House of Black, like when, when this buddy came out, I thought for sure it was the second one because he's been around for so long. No. Actually, you're right. I, the acclaimed, um, the, ma- the this was leading into Christmas. When the like that when they claim you know, won the tag the titles last whatever that was November, September no it was uh it was at uh or the rash I was there it was last it was a year and a half ago almost all oh, right yeah wild yeah Damn. wow and and then they beat Swerve and Keith Lee who also do not have product in hand Jesus <laughs> right it's like it's a little concerning sometimes a little concerning. Uh, Andre the Giant Foco. Oh shit, that looks good. Looks really good. These entrance great things are really, really cool. You know, our lawyer Michael Dawkins is gonna be getting this one. White white souls. <laughs> Questionable. Wow, well, that is weird, but who cares? But I wouldn't have noticed the white souls, Dave. Oh. Right here. Thank you very much. And there's also this too, man. And that does big, not look big heads, man. That's not as fun as the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't love these but they're all what? hand sculpted. I love that they keep banging them. every week. We're talking about them, so they must be. Well, yeah, because, because they're well. able to do it because because these are all handmade. So they're able to put all these out because they're all handmade. And here they get they get their little uh they get they get their little paint model and yeah they're working away until I don't know when this when this is going to be shipping, but probably not until like April or May because yeah that some of their stuff is pushed back because 
takes time to make all these by hand. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but but do you not think like you think if they only order fifty, they only make fifty? I think they make the whole run, right? These aren't runs. I mean, these are all hand done. These are probably made in the states, probably. <laughs> but but I mean, it says out of two twenty three. So yeah. you're saying where do they come up with that number? But what I what I'm asking is, you know, if these are pre ordered, these aren't in stock yet. Are they making all two twenty three? Are they making just how many get ordered? They got to be making the two twenty three. They probably have like ones for replacements and damages and stuff. That too. They got it. Well, I listen. I love what they're doing. Pretty cool. And I I definitely want a Matt and Brian bobblehead eventually. Also, this is a great one. Coco, beware! No, it's not Coco. Beware, Matt. It's the bird man. No, it's it's not the bird man. No, what is it? It's birdware. No, birdware. (laughs) <laughs> birdware oh my god listen i i absolutely dig this because great thing to have it's pretty cool Coco, for some reason they make him in like his 80s gear when he comes out in hasbro's but he should have been this no yeah. it made sense uh, you it made know sense. i mean it's yeah it's a borderline one they definitely it's got 88 re- they definitely Coco's got 88 so savage is 88 andre's 87 technically early no but i'm saying by but, the time it's released he's a series okay. three hasbro and well, you, it, it all depends on when it's developed. It doesn't matter when. Yeah, it's like I'm sure it was developed and they got the reference shots when he was still it's, wearing. It's, that. You look at you look at Greg, like uh, Valentine Greg, like he was supposed to come out and then Rhythm Blues. So like it conflicted. So people right. got mixed histories there. They think that the Rhythm Blues like that was the first release. But technically, the yeah, it, it, the way in which they were developed, the the wave three release or series three release, whatever collectors call it. Uh, they think that was. Yeah. So. Well, anyway, we're getting yeah. this. The uh, cool. I mean, it's a cool high energy. piece to you know accompany your own heart for sure. Yeah, it's great. I'll, I'll be getting this for sure. I mean, I the deco could have been better, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it, Jesus also, all the wrong, all the wrong also, colors, but it is what it is. <laughs> also, is that a beauty mark on the back of his head? <laughs> a beauty mark? No, that's a part of the just the sculpt from that he got. No from, one's uh, seeing that. Sean, yeah, I, I see. It's a little dot. Yeah, yeah. I don't see it. This is a the, render. The, yeah, yeah the, the, what are we talking about? This could the, the that's why I'm like, did they go wildly different? Does he have like we, a famous even judge. mark in the back of his head we don't know about? No, that's just from the way it was rendered. So, <sighs> yeah. And in more retro news, probably some of the biggest news I've ever got to report on, at least for me, we're finally getting a new WWE official retro ring. Corporate Steve, he, he teased it on social media, so we don't really have many images or many details unless D does. But this is a WrestleMania ring, black ring, blue posts. Even the logo, it's like, t- to me, it looked like a WrestleMania 2 logo. It's like an homage to WrestleMania 2. It's not a yeah, 2. It's kind of like a blurred out. Right. So, like, this is, to me, like an 80s ring, like where you oh. put your 80s guys. Yeah, this is this is gonna fit well with the uh with the uh, next wave so that's probably when this is launching is probably with the next wave of retros so right. and, and we think it'll be with the muhammad ali well, yeah this is gonna be mattel creations this yeah, isn't yeah. going to mass yeah this yeah. can't yeah the other one fit. but also i was like so thrilled to see this but also like how did it take six years to get this done well i'm i was thrilled but also i wish it was a black Raw's war ring like attitude Right. Well, they haven't done any attitude Which characters, are, so well, yeah, it has the, the theme. The DX has sets coming to ringside. What are you talking about? Well, DX well that's ringside, so maybe ringside can pick up and get their own. That series be, two of the retros was all attitude. Series yeah. two was also all, yeah. All almost that was, the, I think, the best attitude, set attitude. ever. Yeah. Stone Cold, Kane. Yeah, so you have plenty of attitude era guys to go in. But I, I dig this. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm glad we're getting it. Call me crazy. I'm more like pumped for like the box art. What are we gonna get here? We're we gonna get something it, cool. It could potentially be very cool, yeah. Or it could be the guys just, that who's in the the, the Muhammad Ali set? Refresh my memory. It's uh, Big John oh. Stud, uh, Hogan, Hogan, Wendy Richter, Richter and Ali. Right, yeah. Wendy Richter, the, so and Steve, like the same that. body, right? So f- photos of those are gonna be coming out next month because Steve like teased on his Instagram that uh, oh, cool. they were in the photo booth. So carded carded photos are gonna be showing of those. But yeah, there's the comparison with the other one. So yeah. I'm excited because if the price is reasonable, we it's can get back to customizing. Be, it's got to be low. Let's go. I want to order 20 just for and, the possibility and, and, of and customizing. Am I, am I crazy that I'm like hopeful that it's a little more money and has an exclusive figure? It's probably not. Nah. But I, 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 I would love that. I cannot see this being a pricey item. It can't be more than 30 bucks. Right? I'd be, I would be blown away. 20 would be so good. I don't Imagine. think it's going to be 20. Shipping 20, no way. That'd be tough, but. 
I think the original retailed for twenty. So that's yes, what I'm saying. If this yeah. was twenty, was, you got to pay. Yeah, a that was a long shipping. time ago, guys. What was, well, yeah. What, what, what was, was the lowest yeah. on Prime? Amazon Prime. Ten bucks. Got, they got nuts for a while. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, something like that. Man, man. And now that's a hundred and fifty dollar ring. I know. I wish I didn't sell all those. Huh? Oh my god. This is the best custom customized on my off ring days. possible. Yeah. No, this is definitely the best custom custom ring for sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. But I, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. The retro line is continuing. It's growing. All these other companies making figures. So I absolutely dig it. Yeah, I mean, that too, right? You can find any purpose for it, depending on what you collect. Yeah. Or also, since it's like black, you can customize it to kind of whatever you want if you don't put those stickers on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you can make your own Raw's War ring if you yep. wanted. And I'm sure people, maybe Steel Cage Customs are probably going to be making some some retro uh, yeah, definitely. stickers and ropes again. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Hey, what, what colors? Yeah, it has a, uh, it has like a WrestleMania blue? 13 vibe to me, right? Does uh, it? Yeah, like WrestleMania 13 had like black and that purplish that the the I WrestleMania the 2 logo. Blue. No, but I'm talking about the sticker logo. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, no, what color is the pose? I'm colorblind. Blue, blue. navy. Oh, okay. They look like they're a darker blue from the original release. Okay. We'll find out soon. Yeah, we'll find out soon. Just a teaser. Any other news you guys got? It was a lot for a holiday week. Holy shit. Yes. All right. Well, we got some ringside collectibles news. A lot of stuff over at ringside. Let me, let me find Oh, uh, about Brian. Brian mentioned last week about the uh, Kerry Von Eric. He, he said that was it was fantasy gear. It is fantasy gear. No. What? D, it's fantasy? Yeah. I, 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 I scout I, I, through the I, network I, and everything. I it's all fantasy. I not find anything. Wait, it's but all here, fantasy. What do you mean? Yeah, it's well, all well, Matt, Matt. Even the first release is fantasy. So, <laughs> no, I've seen a reference photo. Yeah, there. there is a reference shot of him without the jacket. The jacket is a mishmash of his Adidas jacket from uh, like '85, and it had like stripes down the down the sleeves. But this is like a complete mishmash of like. Uh, but and then the lightning bolts on the boots on the uh, on the first release were uh, like on the inside of the boots. They shouldn't be on the inside of the boots. It should be, on, and the lightning bolt on the side of the boots is incorrect so like the von air country that was on the back of his vest but it wasn't like in that didn't have that typeface didn't have the rose but uh, yeah still still a great execution obviously i mean i don't know i i'd say definitely in the portrait area it it, it supersedes mattel's but i mean mattel's is probably still the one i would stick with but once again everyone can uh choose whatever they want Man, but, uh, I, i'm still gonna display but it's Breaks my heart that it's fantasy. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't recall. He did wear white. He did wear white gear, but this 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 whole like the, the whole knee-pad. entrance get up. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah. Not, that's all not completely white. I couldn't find anything that was like that. Well, I found complete. Yeah, he, he has worn like all white, but like in terms of like the deco, like the decorations that are applied to it, he didn't wear black soles. He didn't have the lightning bolts on the uh, on the side of the boots. He had the carry on the one leg, Von Eric on the other uh, on the other boot, and then it even has carry like on the uh, on the trunks design, like on the on the front of the trunks that says carry in cursive. So no way, he, ever, he never had that like no ever ever. Yeah, so oh, I didn't even notice that right now. Yeah, so uh, some puzzling decisions, but hey, I mean it's mm. it's a nice execution, and once again, it's it's. Uh, Supposed yeah, to be so, limited and whatever. Yeah, but. it's it's a special release. So I, I ordered three. Commemorative. commemorative. I, ordered, I ordered three as I ordered well. Three. I ordered three as well. Well, I'll definitely be getting one because I'm all in. I'm gonna be. I'm as of now, Power Town completist. As of now. And this goes back to kind of what we were just saying. Like it's not trying to depict the moment. So maybe they just went the most toy. Just think of it like a like, like a right. like a ringside collectibles exclusive or like a like similar to what Jax was doing like when Jeremy was doing all these uh special releases like a toy right. exclusive kind of right. you have to look at it that way. Yeah. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. All right, well, some ringside news. Shop ringside collectibles holiday sale going on now. Guys, those deals were insane. Oh my god. Wild. I nice. couldn't stop. Every time they posted it, I'd have to like stop what I'm doing and look just cuz the prices yeah. were so silly. So some hot figures expected in soon. A lot of good ones here. Bell to Bell ringside exclusives with the Matt Cronin, Nick Gage, GCW Deathmatch. Oh, Deathmatch, it's time. Which, by the way, guys, on my YouTube channel, just did a Cardona commentary, like the old DVD commentary going over that match. Uh, Road Warriors got Steiner. The Steiner Brothers. Dan has a big pump and pump all in stock soon. That's cool. Uh, three Faces of Foley ringside exclusive with Dude Love, Mankind, and Cactus. I need that. That's for sure. Acclaim three pack AW ringside exclusive with Max Caster, Anthony Bowens, Billy Gunn. Unmatched eight with Malachi Black, Brody King, Buddy Matthews, Penta, and CM Punk. Ultimate 20 with Asuka, Roman, and Undertaker. And Elite 107 with Solo Sokoa, Undertaker, Otis, Finn Balor, Grayson Waller, and Cora Jade. So 
There we go. That's some ring side news. Whoa. Oh, not so fast. We got to do the ringside top 10. Top 10. This episode of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast has been brought to you by Ringside Collectibles, the number one online retailer of WWE action figures. Go to WrestlingFigures.com and make a purchase. And when you do, use discount code MAJOR at checkout to save 10%. Another sale, Sami Zayn's number one again. Ringside Top 10. Use code MAJOR for discount at the end. All right, number 10, Wheeler Yuta forged in combat, AEW ringside exclusive. Number 9, MJF with scarf. AEW Unmatched Series 4. Number 8, Finn Balor, WWE Elite 107. Number 7, CM Punk Luminaries, AEW Unmatched Series 8. Number 6, Bret Hart, WWE Defining Moments, Ringside Exclusive. Number 5, Almost, WWE Elite 97. Number 4, Cody Rhodes, Suited, AEW Unmatched Series 4. Wow, Series 4. That seems like so long ago number three damian priest wwe elite royal rumble 2023 number two wave two of wwe elite top picks 2023 and number one cm punk aew unmatched series four this is this reads so weird. Hold on. Number two was Roman Reigns Red Gauntlet WWE Elite Top Picks 2023 Wave Two. All right, there it is. Ringside Top Ten. And up next, weekly purchases brought to you by Major Bendis. All right, this is Matt Cardona, host of the Major Wrestling Fever Podcast, but also owner of Major Bendy's with Brian Myers. Brian, tell everyone about Major Bendy's Big Rubber Guys over on MajorPodMerch.com. MajorPodMerch.com. Get your Major Bendy's. There's that merch table exclusive me. Uh, Big Rubber Guys sweeping the action figure world by storm. Bro, we have so many Major Bendy's, almost 100 figures. We have legends like Tommy Dreamer, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, new guys like Dan Housen, and of course, Big rubber guys, it is the throwback to the LJN style. We got Matt and Brian, Demolition, Macho Man, Ric Flair. Keep checking MajorPodMerch.com and scratch that figure itch. Some might cost a little. Some might cost a lot. But I'm the thousand dollar broski. And your figures will be bought. <laughs> All right, guys. Weekly purchases brought to you by Major Bendy's. Every week, use the hashtag Major Bendy's. It can be a big rubber guy, a Major Bendy, whatever the post is. Post about it. You'll be eligible to bring. Eligible to. Eligible to win Take a, shot. a major Bendy's card, <laughs> exclusive card. Oh my god! This is, this is what I love. Winner is awesome. Joe is once again my hashtag major Bendy's collection is complete. Dot dot dot. For now, family got me the extreme series, and I can't wait to get back to work to put them on the wall. The others, I love that these are still available. Majorpodmerch.com. The extreme series. Look at them coming Man, out of brick wall. One of my, one of my favorites. Way. One of my favorites as well. <laughs> They got to be real low inventory, by the way. Like, got to be low. Really, really low. low. So, uh, weekly purchases. You're gonna call me crazy on a couple of these guys. You're gonna call me crazy on a couple of these. Aubrey Woodall got me 
The Brian Myers <laughs> major players micro brawler. Can you, can you explain that one to everybody? I wrote a second. Nathan Messi got me the Brian Myers chase major player micro brawler. So you're back in on the Brian Myers collection. <laughs> No, no, no. So he's got a whole he's detail a full of Brian Myers figures. He's a completist. Behind me, if you can see, I got uh, loose uh, the Brian Brawlers. Then in my garage, since there's pod logo on them, I have a mid on card. Brian Myers, both of them. But now I'm looking straight ahead. You'll see this in the, the tour I'm going to do for my toy room coming to YouTube soon. I feel like, and we've discussed this, especially because it says Tag Team Edition 2 of 2, I need to put this next to the mat because I have my min on card mats on detolfs. Do you? We talked about this. I mean, like this is no surprise. Our adrenaline two pack. You, you have me next to you. I do. Loose? In my, in my, ze- no, no. I only do min on card. Right. Okay. Yeah. We on, talked in, about this, and we yeah. decided that he needed it if it was a tag team representation. Yes. So, which is going to really f me because now with the new crate. I'm not going to spoil anything, but. <laughs> But basically it's oh better. yeah, that didn't spoil anything. <laughs> I might need some yeah. more. In case you're a moron and didn't get that, no spoiler. All right. Hey, remember that that time I said the the mystery card for the uh, the Patreon? <laughs> no, where we said the whole next six months. No, nobody could figure out what was going on. That person. <laughs> anyway, oh, that was brutal too. My next thing, which is kind of crazy, I talked about this on the pod. Marcus Brandon, I traded for the Dan Housen heels and faces accessories. Because you couldn't find yours. Can't find them. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't open that yet. Like, I feel like. I'm not, I'm not, I don't even use these accessories oh. with the Dan Housen. I have them so, displayed around it. I yeah. It. I don't think I'm yeah, going to Yeah, my Lucy, I have one. I think I have one of each. I have one open and one not. Did you get him to sign the uh, the pieces? No. So this is the, the jar of teeth, the sack of human money, stacks of human money. I think it's great stuff, but I just don't. Uh, I didn't have it, or I lost my loose one, so I needed it. Hmm. So that'll, I'll that'll, try not to lose that'll it. surface in a couple months, and you'll have it. Lost to Matt it. means he just it's somewhere it's misplaced, that he which is crazy. Because exactly. like, yeah, do you even I, look, or you just give up instantly and try to buy God, a new there's one? There's so many places for me to look. Could be my storage unit, <laughs> my garage, my closet. Uh, I say that more. to my daughter all the time when she starts getting upset about something being lost. I'm like, it's not lost. It's somewhere here. We'll find right. it. Yeah, that's, place. that's kind of what I said to my wife and my kids when they say that to me. Yeah. yeah. It's lost. <sighs> well, I got those. You guys get anything? You guys, uh, you, I think we all got a little pre- little present there from uh, Ringside, right? Yes, we did. Ringside. Yes, we did. Got the, I got it right here. We got the really awesome presents. We got a one of 3,000 Dan Asen. Thank you very much. And the bunny. And the bunny, which I really needed. And I'm going to open this. Which I, just, which I just bought. So now I can have a, a Chelsea Green for her collection, a loose one uh, on my card. Well, I'm going to hang on to my Dan Housen and get it autographed when I see him at Toy 2. But um, <laughs> right, the funny thing right, is. You're never going to be able to do that again. I know. Damn it. Your the, voice uh, is so messed up. The, uh, the bunny, I actually was. I don't know how it came up in conversation with Mackenzie that she was very hard to get or whatever. So I kind of regifted it right back to Mackenzie to get opened uh, and actually, opened you know and played what? with. It. Opened right and now, played with. Five thousand. I'm gonna open it right now. Well, Here we go. Well, you wow. gotta you gotta put that mask on so that you could under you know get a better likeness of her. I'm I'm ripping this one of five thousand. Here we go. Yeah, I give it to Mackenzie to open and play with and be enjoyed. And the, the mold of the legs, it, everything's like brand new on the uh, the lower oh, really? part, right? I thought so. I thought she was like. Uh, I want to know how the mask. Like how does the mask stay on her? All right, here we go. There she is. Um, how's the face in person, Mark? Uh actually, once you take it out, I, okay. Like, you know, obviously, so we know her. You know, I've right. I've talked to her many times. Looking straight on, not that great. You turn it to the side, like that is her. I don't know. It's weird, you know. Like these are three yeah. D things. Yeah. So it's like I can see her her facial profile and you know her cheekbones and all that. It's just it looks like her from the side. The face straight on. Maybe it's the nose. I'm not really sure. It's it's not perfect, but I don't think that it's bad. Um, and then you put the oh, so here's the clip, right? So oh, it, it just has a it just has a full blown thing. Okay. Oh, it's kind of like that Kamala mask that uh, Conrad stepped on. <laughs> Yeah, and and it stretches a little bit, so it's it'll it'll stay on good. Oh, good. 
And there you go. So the Brian Myers Super 7 mask. Yeah, it's like that, actually. Yeah. Well, I didn't sweet. realize this. She has, are you, do you realize she has like brass knuckles in both hands? Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is very weird. I'm I don't know if it's supposed it. to be brass knuckles or like a, a ring of some sort. Hmm. But it's like a ring that goes around all her Is anybody a bunny expert? Did she use brass knuckles as like a thing? Double brass knuckles. I have no yeah. recollection of that. Now, what about the, her pants? Her pants are like molded, like the rips or whatever those are. Those like the, the seams. She's Kitchen? got like buckles. There's like buckles Buckle. that are molded. Yeah. Okay. They're just slightly, slightly popping out. That's yeah, still, but that's, that's not reusable good. stuff, which is yeah. right. Is that a soft goods jacket too? Hard um, goods. Plastic. Yeah, hard, hard goods. goods. Uh, really cool deco on it. And um, her boots, if you notice, they go all the way up to the knees. It's big uh, pretty cool. That's a great figure. Listen, great it's, figure. it's it came out, right? Right. That's hard to get. Yeah. With the way things are going, I think you just count your count your lucky stars so that it exists. Fits perfectly right next to your butcher blade. Mm, you did an unboxing, Mark. I'm going to do an unboxing. I got in the mail the new superstars, Hogan in the blue. Look at that Matt Cardona chest hair there. It's cool. Yeah, I will not be opening this up right now, but I will unbox this one. I have two of these. Well, I have one now. I'm waiting on one. I bought two of the Andre the Giants because all these superstars figures are kind of two in ones. But this is the only one so far that I felt like, damn, you really do need to display them both. So if you look at it right now, it's Andre with the black singlet, the short hair. The rest of the guys in the set is Hogan with a chase and Doink the Clown. Letting this baby breathe here. He's so tall that his legs I was say you have to come, connect comes them, legless. Right? He comes with no he's got no legs. It's pretty cool. He's got no legs. So it's Andre. Well, I just ripped his head off. <laughs> the, the singlet. If you take the singlet off, I'll take it off right now. I'll undress the giant. He's got blue trunks on underneath. So jacked. But it I feel really like that's something. If you're going to do that, you have to do that ASAP too, so the singlet doesn't like dye the skin or something. Probably. Right? I would be nervous. So the Andre, look at it. Looks like Lars Sullivan right here because I took the hair <laughs> off. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Blast from the past. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> because the short hair is one piece, but then you put the afro on. Oh my god! And it's like, look, it's a totally different figure when that's- you do that. Really cool, actually. It's a totally different figure. Look at how many abs he has. He's more abs than Tony yeah, Nese. It's, it's an eighties Master of the Universe <laughs> inspired man. And, you and, he's got, the and he's got two sets of boots in there. Yeah, he's got black boots. He's got blue boots. So it's once crazy how they up. pack those little accessories behind them in those, and you can't even see them. Yeah, it's I don't, nice. I don't get why they do it for this, but they don't do it for the elite stuff. I understand yeah. it shows the consumer. What's available? Then why don't they do it for this? I think they is this know. More of a collectible. I, I think they know this is not a kid's item. This is an adult collectible, and I think uh, ultimates well, are collected by both for sure. I lost his other boots, so he's kind of like a, a Zach Gowan. But you know what I mean. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm trying. To... Awesome figure. I'm all in on the superstars line. And guys, if there's anybody else that you think I need two of to create the you know the alternate attire, big, big like, steal, like, bro, Uncle Fred. No, that's not, to me. That's like the example of who, why you don't need to. Give me another example of one I need you're, to. You're a coward. That's all I'm going to say is you're a coward. <laughs> it also comes with the winged eagle title. Yeah. Like, how do you not like show that off? It's just behind them. Oh shit! People wow. love these belts. That's, I didn't even know it was in here. That's shocking, actually, to me. Wow, crazy. Um, you know, it was the holidays. I had a very, very simple week. Um, as a gift for my wife, I uh asked for and got some stuff to like kind of protect my PSA slabs. So I finally got one of those like cases you can lock and open and close. And I also found um, that I forwarded to her to get for me uh, like built in books and like card sleeves. So I put a bunch in there too now. So now I have like all my Brian Myers and Kurt Hawkins slabs in like a nice photo album almost, if you will. Mm, And uh, the last thing that I'm excited about was this uh, mug that Madison designed and made for me, and she's three with her, all my family on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I'm drinking coffee out of it now. So, And she was very excited to give it to me. It was uh, adorable. So, Merry Christmas. Well, hey, you, you bring up a coffee mug there, pal. I got, I got uh, important news to announce, guys. 
Snow I said, all I asked for for Christmas. Oh, my God, yeah. The was a ask. travel mug. The big ass. I'm happy to report Let's I got it. one. Oh, man. It's a Chewbacca travel mug. Wow. Look at that. Uh, it is a, a cor- Corkicle brand. It's really good. You know, whatever. It keeps it Nailed uh, hot. It. Nailed it. <laughs> keeps it hot. Man, life I'm very changing, excited huh? for my travel mug. Thank so you that's coming with family. you every, everywhere you go now? Yeah. Well, when I have to drink car in a, I mean, coffee in the car, yeah. Hmm. I had one. It was a. It was from... Um, uh, Better Call Saul, uh, yeah. and it said sec- world's second best lawyer, which is like a cup he had. Uh-huh. Uh, but after you wash it a bunch of times, all the paint was coming off. So it's kind of all of them, pal. So yeah. that's just what happens there. Yeah. Cool. I got a couple more cool things. I got this from Figure Collections. The Headbangers. This look great. I've seen a lot of Wrestling people post them. Yeah. The two-pack. This is... I love it. I love the I, guys. This is a, a, a trivia fact. I'm, unless I'm mistaken, this photo is an FWF photo of the headbanger. No, I'm almost positive. Not 99. percent I'm sure we can get some Justin Walsh. But I'm 95. Not 99, know. but 95. <laughs> oh my god! And I don't think Justin Walsh would know because we own the photo. Like I bought them all from Justin Walsh. But he took them and definitely has them in his... Yeah, oh, right. But I'm pretty sure back in the day, Figure Collection asked me if I had a, a headbanger photo and I just gave it to them. Huh. So does that mean that we all need this event on card? <laughs> no. No. Justin but Walsh, gonna, maybe. I will say the, the package looks... It's thick. The, it looks heavily glued. The back shows Chelsea Green, Colt Cabana, Effie, uh, the headbangers, and Mike Yoda. And uh, listen, I'm going to let this breathe right now. I'm going to totally let it breathe. And what about Headbanger Mosh? Big thanks. Opening the bone crunching <laughs> Big uh, saved us. episode. Saved us, brother. Great job, Brian. He did a great job. Dogs barking in the background. Barefoot he was. But he did a great job sending it. Beggars can't be choosers, pal. <laughs> no, I cut out the bare feet and tried to cut out the dog. But yeah. All right. So good. right now I got Thrasher. Man. I love that he immediately looked up his skirt. I did. <laughs> I think these are incredible. It has his tattoos and color on each side. Is the skirt Piper style, like exact? No, you can see underneath. So you can see, which I do appreciate, he's got oh. green underwear on. Oh, cool. I do like that. But it doesn't come off. does not come off, which I really like. So that's cool. They must make it, do the deco, and then assemble it. And then it's yeah. it's done so. The multiple colored socks. I Look, did they really need to paint inside? I appreciate that they did. It's got the, uh, the the tag team shirt that we all know. The real men wear skirts on the back. The likeness, the sculpt of the face is incredible. And here comes Mosh. Mosh doing like a Hogan number one pose. That's really cool. Got the tattoos again, the tongue out. He's got red underpants. So different different underpants. Bro, these are incredible. Like, like Deep Freedom said earlier in the show. It's not the right material, but for what they are, they, I think they're great. I mean, how long has it been since we've had Hutbanger series besides our <laughs> micro brawls that we made? They were supposed to have classic superstars didn't come out. Man, 97? We just covered yeah. it. No, All right, there's, but- gotta, there's gotta be some 98 ones in there. Uh, yeah, I guess they have re-releases in 98, yes. F- fix, okay. Tell me. I don't remember this stuff. Which company is this? This is Figure Collection who... Is that an FWF photo, D? Definitely. Wow, so it is. Figure Collection makes their own retros, but they're very, very similar to the Who who have they made so far? So far, they've made Chelsea and Effie. It's the same company. It's just kind of took over and different people are in charge now. Right, so like they had done a Gangrel. They had done the the Swaggle, believe it or not, was from them. Um, Got it. Okay. So I think these are great. I love them. Name of the I episode, love- looking up the headbanger skirts. Brian, are you getting these or no? You're out on all these. No, I just like, I, I, I said a couple episodes ago, I'm just I'm just a heels and faces boy. All in on that, completist. I get two of everybody because I get them autographed and I let them breathe and display them. So I, I can't be in bed with all these different other companies for, with no intentions of displaying them or, you know, it just felt weird to me. Well, I'd I'm like a, to buy a, a, a headbanger. So if anybody out there would. Wow. Uh, 
There's, I mean, I, I did not get out on these, you know, I'm uh, not out. The extra companies. I'm not I, out. I do have the intention of buying certain ones. I refuse to pre order from any company. Right. Me too. Um, so at this point, I they're out. I know you both, I, you both, it doesn't bother me for some reason. I just I don't, don't like it. I, I don't like care the fact. I feel like I'm paying the lowest price. I forget about it. So it's not on my mind. When yeah. it comes, it comes. I just like, I don't know. I don't mind. I don't think that it's fair that we're funding. These toy lines and they're taking years to come out, and, and like we're not suck, and we're not we're suck. like loaning them money and not getting paid interest. I would rather just find somebody to sell it to me now than worry about getting the figure that is so bad that it explodes in your hand and then having to sell oh, well, it. Well, Rush screw that up for everybody. Mm, yeah, I just I don't know. Doesn't bother. Not something I think about. Nor does it bother me. Is all I'm saying. All right. Well, I got I got a little uh, update here from Allie. Um, she says. She used brass knuckles a number of times, but never on both hands. So she was ex- she was told that it's so that you can use it on whatever hand you want. Mm. That's cool. That's really cool. So you, added value, yes, we add, call that added value. Yeah. So, you, but if you if we're going to display a bunny, the accurate way to do it would be to have the knuckles on one hand. Got Your it. choice on which one. There's no way she punched people with different. It's got to be only right True, or whatever. Writer, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, so, so there you go, guys. It's got to be on the right yeah. if you want to be totally accurate. Uh, uh, I finally got this in the mail. <laughs> did, you, did she write like, thanks for watching my stuff, Mark, you piece of shit that you didn't know? No. <laughs> like we all remember every little detail. <sighs> like she said it numerous times. She used brass knuckles. <laughs> guys, I'm holding it. Finally came the oh, NECA. Yes. The NECA party wagon. Look at this. The headlights. Didn't we just do this last week? No, no. That, no. Was, the, that was the the Super Seven. <laughs> the the lights are my favorite part, Broski. How cool is that? That's unbelievable. Look at that. The lights in the back. Full That's unboxing of this on our YouTube channel, guys. I di- I did a full unboxing of this. I loved it. So I built th- it. This is cartoon accurate. Yep. This is cartoon accurate. Thoughts, Broski. I, I dug it. I guess like I'm so used to as a child. The Playmates one, so I had such more connection sentimentally to the the Super Seven one because it was like my childhood toy come to but life better. and ginormous. Yeah. This it's not like the one I was a kid, so I was like, eh, it's cool, but I really enjoy. You know, it, this is more this is accurate to the cartoon series. I feel like yeah. that's like the complete opposite of what you say about wrestling toys. You want them to be as accurate as possible, and you'd never say, yeah, I know. But but I, I but love it. It's, it's cool. We don't have like this unbelievable like affinity for the 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 turtles cartoon like the sounds and the pictures are a little nostalgic but like the cartoon sucked we've talked about that but we can still watch 80s wrestling we love it yeah right i love it i thought the like the door hinges are very very loose you gotta be very careful with those things yeah sure opening and shutting the doors i mean that is neca in uh you know uh, fully yeah. Everything you have to be careful with. Look, I love that. Figures. I love, even with the figures, it really looks like it's a piece of artwork taken out of a cartoon, out of a TV screen, onto your fucking desk or your shelf. Yeah, I love it. I think they're absolutely nailing the turtle stuff. Uh, and like you said, the sewer is well, here. So here it is. Wow. <laughs> did, did you get yours yet? <laughs> I did not get mine yet. How big is it? Uh, so I haven't taken it out of the box, but this is. Uh, even the box, I'm saying. It's gigantic, yeah. <clears throat> Um, it shows on the box. It's displayed like right underneath that city thing that we both have. Um, I don't think I can. The way that I have things set up right now, I can't display this one. It sets it fucks up my whole thing. So I have to have two of them or another because they're going to make more sewer. The next thing that they're going to make is the kitchen. This is the living room. So they said that they they plan on if this did well, which it did, to make the kitchen or the laboratory. So there's going to be more add-on versions of this street. And uh, I'm you, sorry, sewer. But you built this, the street sits perfectly on this. Yes, yes. So I don't know what they're going to do in this the future. It's a big motherfucking display if you have it all done. Yeah, but they're also going to come out with, theoretically speaking, because they said, remember that Comic-Con one a couple years back where we saw like the Technodrome pieces and yes, the sewer yes, pieces? Yes. That's all supposed to be coming out. So here's my question. Let's say you're fucking displaying this, right? You have that on a desk or something or a shelf, and then you have the city on top. Yeah. Where do you put the fucking van? Well, the van fits perfectly in one of these, but you would have to get a second one. The way they had it on display at PowerCon was two right next to each other. 
an empty one with the van in it, which is, I guess, fine because technically I guess I don't, the, I don't the really remember the van. That's what I'm saying. I don't remember the van in the fucking sewer. Yeah, but they're at, where did they park it? Just in a parking lot? That's just right. the way it, speaking, they had it underground. They display the van, right? Yeah. I thought, I in my mind, if I would, I always thought that they fucking moved that sewer cap and it was like it, the van was parked like right there and they just jumped right in. Maybe. But then or they were in the disguise outfits and walked to the van in a parking garage. But but that turtle van is just sitting there in a parking garage for people. Nobody's gonna be like, "What's this?" <laughs> nice, well, maybe it's got maybe way it's got a cover on. Deep it. Down the right <laughs> way, right? <laughs> well, either way, the way that they had it displayed on PowerCon was two of these. One had the which van I remember in it, Mark showing me, and I was like, "Wow, that looks great." So yeah, that, that, that means you need to buy two another city street. Yes. Whew. Or or like I have, make a street. I have a street that I made. I put on top. My but this issue, is all your own display. You can make it however you want. These are just added value pieces. My issue is I have the city street, yep. right? And I have the cartoon street not on display. But let's say let's say my new toy room is made tomorrow. Let's pretend. Yep. I get the sewer. I put the, the the cartoon city street. But then like the movie city street will be like at the same level as the sewer. It doesn't yeah. I mean I need them to make like a movie sewer. Yeah. Which they might. Fuck. They might, but yeah, I'm I'm waiting for another one of these, like the kitchen or something. I'm not. I don't know. I told you I want to fix this up for before the the tour, but I'm very Nick excited. Killing it. Neck has been killing it. Yeah. I'm very excited. Uh, another thing I got, I got delivery from Andy from Kowloon. Oh my god! What a mai tai! <laughs> I thought it was. It was the Kowloon uh, sneakers. Oh shit! Unbelievable. I think these are the same sneakers that John Cena wore this year at WrestleMania. No. Yeah. Wow. The uh the Air Force Ones. The Galoon Air Force Ones. It's pretty cool. That's, that is something else. Now Incredible. are you gonna wear those? Hey, if I'm on WrestleMania this year, I'll wear them. <laughs> if you're on <laughs> WrestleMania this year. Yeah, Cena wore them last year, WrestleMania. If I'm on WrestleMania this year, I'll wear them. But you wrestle in boots, so you're saying you're just walking <laughs> Chelsea the ring, or what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> Chris says coming soon to whatnot. I think yeah. so. Hey, hey, I think so. <laughs> Chris. I feel like I feel it too, Chris. I feel Yeah, like why too. wouldn't you at least save them until uh, next next time we go to Yeah, yeah why are you wearing well, the next color? I'm not so. selling them, assholes. I'm not selling them, assholes. Mm-hmm. All right. You guys got anything else? I got a big boy. That was I, it for me. I have uh this uh I got this last week. I got the Pro Wrestling Crate. Oh, all right, go ahead. Open it up. Here we go. Um first things first. I thought we talk about it next week. <laughs> Cause I wow. we got the I got the Santa Dan I was in um, whatever Michael Brawler I love it um, shirts pretty cool both shirts are good uh, Razor Ramon check out that one wow that's cool one more for the bad guys that's cool with, with the jean jacket kind of goes with the uh, Michael Brawler that they have um, this one's phenomenal Briscoes Dem Boys Dem, Dem Boys that's cool great shirt. Uh, we have ourselves a Orange Cassidy pin. His like face and it's orange. Uh, I don't know what this is. Some sort of uh, Roddy Roddy Piper hot rod flag. Well, nice. Okay. And then we got a little two for one here on the uh, eight by tens. We got your boy Kevin Sullivan. There he is. With just K S. That's it. K S. No, okay. that's not his autograph. I need him to sign the heels and faces. That can't be his autograph. <laughs> that's I terrible. Think we, I think when you said five thousand, it might be. <laughs> Yo. And then your other that's boy. That's not his autograph. The Brooklyn Brawler. Oh, yes. good lord! No <laughs> wonder it was two for one. Printed it like a. Uh, so you think we he need just a tapped baller, out? Big rubber guy, guys. <sighs> K S on the chest. That's pretty annoying. I'm on it right now. All right. Anything else, Mark? Or is that it? The, uh, that is it. All right. The last thing I got. Check this out, guys. This is from WRE Collect, an elite scale barber shop. Whoa. They they make a lot of cool Hasbro stuff. They made a Hasbro barber shop, but this is the Mattel barber shop. It just makes me wonder, like. Or it makes me hope that one day we get the Sean and Marty from this to to recreate this. He's you know obviously made some fix ups, some customs here. 
But whether you're trimming up the old mullet or trimming some dead weight from your tag team, <laughs> there's no better place to go than the barbershop. Of course, this place that includes a breakaway window in case that aforementioned tag partner feels the urge to dive through it to escape. So I literally got this today in the mail. I will open it up, unbox it, take a nice picture. But it just sucks like we don't have the Sean and Marty to uh, – yeah. Like I, I wish like Mattel would give make this make a Sean and then give us like a headless body and we could put a Marty head <sighs> on. But even that Marty head's gonna cost you a hundred bucks. So hey, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Damn. But I love it. WRE Collect makes some great stuff. So I will look for us on social media. I'll post. When are you gonna? Nice. I'm saying when are you gonna build that? I'll probably build it today or tomorrow. Chelsea's on the road, so I have some time. So I'll build it. By, by the way, I'm looking at Kevin Sullivan autographs on eBay. Full blown script. <laughs> Like, <laughs> so he must have just had enough. Damn, he tapped out. So, like, not to in his defense, but when those come, because Matt and I have done it, it's wildly intimidating. And Matt and I did it three, four years ago. So the crate kind of just keeps growing in time. So it's only going to be more and more and more. I mean, the, the, the like FedEx guy dropped them in my house and it went on my front deck, and my whole, I felt like my whole house shook. <laughs> And Liz and I looked at each other like, what the fuck was that? We went out and it was all the box. Of the, I mean, it was very intimidating. So, wow. You must have just tapped out. Uh, real quick, uh, back to the, I opened the Santa Dan house. And so in the back, it's got he's got a sack of teeth and it says, very naughty, very nice. That's awesome. Pretty cool. That's really cool. All right. Well, up next is the Major Mark Purchases of the Week. All right, guys, the Major Mark Purchase of the Week. If you're in the Facebook group, you can tell us what you got, what you bought, what you traded, what you found at a garage sale. I don't know. Mark, what are the uh, Major Mark Purchases of the Week? All right. Well, first of all, last week uh, we had a a marathon episode. It was nuts. We were going into the middle of the night, and we did kind of cut this. So this week we have a couple pictures and and purchases from both weeks, this week and last week. Wow. So here we go. Jester James says, limited one of 500 Red Rider BB gun signed by all the kids from the classic film, including the elusive Ralphie, who's only done a few public appearances. That's actually pretty badass. That's... (laughs) Like a really cool item. Holy wow. shit. Unbelievable, right? Yeah. I would hang that year round. I mean, that, the right? That's like way more than a Christmas item. <clears throat> yeah. All right, Chris Giovanni. thanks to Brian plugging this on last week's pod. I purchased the brick and cage ECW entrance. Once I saw it, I knew I needed it. This will go great displaying wow. my original San Francisco toy maker ECW figures that I am close to completing a loose mint collection. A, I saw that at Brian's awesome house piece. on display. It's great. Yeah. Actually, yeah, Broski did just see it. Yeah. Matt Gilreath says top contributor. Uh, sorry, that he did not say top contributor. That was under his name. <laughs> Matt, you are a top contributor. Mobile tickets are convenient, but who doesn't love having a ticket stub from a memorable event? I had custom ticket stubs made for all the major pod live shows I've been to. Four, it's seven, and 17. awesome. Absolutely, absolutely no monetary value whatsoever, but a cool and unique addition to my major wrestling figure podcast man. collection. Cool. How cool is that? Oh, man, That's that fucking really cool. Rules. I'm like, guys, live 18 coming up ugh. a few weeks away. Sometimes days uh, away, Broski. Sometimes the like this is so cool, and and I had to talk about this to show people how, how uh, unique and interesting some of our um, fans make their collections. Shit, that is really cool. Guys, sorry if I'm not really paying attention. I realized that my my mosh on his t shirt, my figure collection mosh, is missing a big chunk of his logo. So I went on. I'm like, I can't, I can't keep this in my collection. I went to go buy a new one. I didn't realize they're like seventy bucks. What'd Damn, you pay? Like, oh, oh boy. but you pre-ordered that and paid what? I know. I think I no. I bought it at the same price. Oh, I must really? have been buying it fast. Damn, seventy that, bucks. That's expensive. I mean, well, I maybe, get it. Maybe they can help. Two, but I'm not going right. to ask them anything for free. I'm, I like to support support small business. I'm going to buy it. Alejandro Contreras. I bought the Macho Machine VHS tape. <laughs> that's for <Broski>. me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a side hustle where I digitize analog media, and when I when I saw he Ooh, put that up for sale, that's a rare I had boy to then. snag it. 
so I can digitize it. After doing some research, there are no photos or footage of the workout tape available online. I'm excited to upload it and share with everyone in the near future. That's cool. I, I think that's awesome. I, I sold my uh, matcha machine to Super Gabby, so I didn't need this. Right. You know, but really, really cool. Hey, he's in here. Chris Grocock bought this Jax BCA Ultimate Warrior prototype from Broski's Whatnot. I'm a huge warrior mark, and this was the figure that got me back into wrestling figures after I thought I outgrew them. I remember Terry Latimer put this prototype up on eBay a few years ago, and I couldn't justify it at the time. A short while later, the listing came down, and Broski talked about getting it as a gift from Terry. <laughs> As soon as Broski showed the picture and said he was putting it up on whatnot, I knew I was going to grab it. I'm very glad he decided to sell it before the history of Jack's BCA episode dropped, as that probably saved me some money. Very true. Broski should have waited. <laughs> eh, maybe. Well, you helped out Chris Grocock. Who's a I love Chris Grocock. All right. Uh, Leo Sparrow, uh, our good friend there. In high school, I DM'd this girl who became my first and now only girlfriend. <laughs> what? What? I don't know. Is, is he still I didn't know that trivia or? fact. Did wait, he, wait. wait, did he propose? Is that a <laughs> ring? <laughs> he was liter- literally at the Christmas party with you. Did he put there. a ring on it? Uh, Christmas oh. morning, I gave her the ring that I knew. Oh, oh, God damn. Christmas morning, I gave her the ring that I knew I would, I would over seven years ago when I met her, and she got me a Mandalorian Lego set. Wow. Nice. Well, well, congrats, Leo Sparrow. I hope she takes you out for a steak stick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I kind of butchered that, but uh, congrats, congrats to you. Congrats, Leo. No. Congrats, Leo. One of my favorites. So wow. Very cool. Christmas Eve. I, I didn't know it was your first and only girlfriend. That's a wild story. Christmas Eve, Leo is 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 DMing me, uh, criticizing my YouTube titles. I'm like, bro, it's, can you leave me alone, dude? Can, you, can we talk about this in a couple days? Yeah. Andrew Husbar. Uh, Got a grail for my ECW collection. Yep. Ever since this. the original what? San Francisco toy maker, No Noose New Jack was reported about in, in the group years ago. I never thought I would ever be lucky enough to own one, let alone a mint on card one. When it arrived, I didn't realize how minty it was. I definitely have to grab one of the Major Pod merch extreme figs to protectors yes. for it. Thank you so much, John Ries, for working with me on it. It's easily one of my most favorite figures in my collection. Holy cow, huh? That's wild, dude. Re- wrestling figure history, but also but wrestling pod. There's a full history. documentary on that figure on our YouTube channel if you've never seen it or if you're oh, curious. Damn. Yeah. I have that as well, Minnow Card. I have right, a Minnow dude. Card and autograph, probably the only one in the world. Is that wow. it? That's it. Hey, uh, right. We have an update from a source okay. over at Pro okay. STTs that said Kevin L. Sullivan <laughs> said he was too old to sign his full name that much. <laughs> Sorry. And tap, <laughs> and, tap, <laughs> and tapped out on the uh, thing that he was paid to do. Wow. Uh, it's not like free when you do that. Wow. I will uh, say, listen, I saw John Cena back in the day switch <sighs> his autograph up when he had to sign those hundreds of 8 by 10s So that's the Kevin Sullivan, show. John Cena. Well, I, I also did it for Zack Ryder, too, and you, I had to sign all those 8 by 10s at the shows. I switched it up. So I understand. <laughs> understand. Um, all right, hey, guys. by the way, guys. Yep. Uh, I've I've gotten some praise on the internet now that random people that aren't major pod fans are getting my autograph in this uh, upper deck set. I yeah. just lost one on eBay. I was pissed. I was in on one. Uh, but yeah, a lot of a lot of people mentioning that they like that, that that I have a pretty signature. Which I'll tell you, I was in the room with a lot of these AEW guys who write on these cards, and they do not try very hard. Man, and I tried very hard on every single one of them because I was so thrilled to do it. All right. Well, up next is the Q and A. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, if you're feeling your age more than you used to, especially in the bedroom, it's time to snap out of it. Blue Chew is what you need to perform where it's most important and perform in a major way. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, 
And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problems here. Blue Chew's Sildenafil and Tadalafil tablets are chewable. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct, so it's cheaper than the pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we've got a special deal for our major marks. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code MAJOR at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code MAJOR, to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. guys q a listen we it's 2024 is coming up we asked uh you major marks in our facebook group like hey what can we do better what can we do exactly the same what do you want to see and enough fans said hey we want the q a back on x so yeah, we're sorry, doing it. sorry ultimate peeps <laughs> sorry you're, ultimate peeps. you're fired <sighs> you're fired we're going back to x so use the hashtag ask major pod if we read your question on air we will send you a little prize key. Brian will pick one. Mark will pick one, and I'll pick one. So you guys go first. Go ahead. I got one. Russ Linderman, at Russ Linderman. With the positive coverage and reviews of Iron Claw, uh, what pro wrestling bios do you believe would make great movies? I saw Iron Claw Saturday. Loved it. Um, my dad was how, bad, asking, how bad was that flair, though, huh? Why was it, I didn't think he was, like, if he's bad, then everyone's bad because it's. I've it's never. A I, didn't, I, I didn't see it. So. I've only Everyone seen the clip of Flair, Flair on, and I didn't think it was that. The Flair it, was terrible. I don't it, think it was like a terrible. foreign man doing Ric Flair. It was no, <laughs> he had like an accent. It's, I think the real problem awful. is, it like we if really for no reason at all he does like a three minute Flair promo, that's not necessary. Like you know what I mean? He's like in it for the sake of being in it. I'm, Here's the thing: like it doesn't really matter. And somebody who doesn't know Ric Flair can watch that and not think anything of it, right? Right. But they, that, that's they, they used his say. woo. They used his promo lines. So it was like somebody was like, it's got to be really close to this Ric Flair. But then they completely overlooked the fact that it's it's not. I don't know. And I don't mean to be complaining or whatever, nitpicky, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's just not a very good Ric Flair collection. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ric Flair impersonation. Yeah. But I don't think that that matters for the movie at all. I don't think that would <laughs> that doesn't it does, change. It, the, it has no bearing on the film like, right. at all. Yeah. So us I saw, I saw fans, it getting a lot of hate, and I was like, it does not matter. Yeah, yeah. Us wrestling fans can be like, Ugh, but doesn't um, matter. I, I loved it. I mean, it was, I was trying to explain to my dad because he asked me about it yesterday. Like, like I and you guys and me, like we're wrestling fans, so we know the story. For a civilian, just to hear this, they're going to be like, no fucking way this happened. You know what I mean? Right. But right. we're all, especially me, like I'm f- almost fanatical. I've watched like everything ever about Kerry Von Erich and the Von Erichs. Right. So, it, and trust me, it's still is tough to watch at the end it gets it gets pretty emotional and like deep and sad, sad as hell yeah. but I, I mean i do think it's very cool that like <laughs> the family's on a stage like this a movie with like huge stars playing them and this you know getting this kind of um exposure you know and then right. hopefully some closure for kevin and his family the people that are alive you know um but it's pretty unbelievably it's, it's one of the top wrestling movies of all time for sure i there's, think that there's-, there's historical things that will make you scratch your head and stuff for sure but right. i mean um i mean they combine mike and chris into one person that's missing a whole brother right so if you really I didn't even know that being a stickler it's like was he ever in it and they like cut him out or who just wasn't written into it i think for time purposes they just like <laughs> yeah and, and mjf yeah. had a whole storyline um thing that his character was a whole separate thing and mjf's was- in a match for 90 seconds you see him that he's in this match and that's that's it no lines no nothing yeah. never addressed his and it was a storyline yeah. like a story piece wow right but anyway uh the question i think uh, a movie and maybe i'm i'm um this is too much of a homer pick but i think uh, uh the story of ecw could be a narrative film with the wild characters people popping Ooh, in, in which in and out. i feel like if iron claw had a hard enough time depicting the six brothers that it cut it down to five Right. Maybe that's not a great choice, you know, if you're trying to get it. But if it's just like a Paul Heyman story kind of deal, you know, like, or or Tommy Dreamer, or just like. 
them when doing I, it. When I read that question, because I did see it on Twitter too, the thing that stuck out to me that I thought of was maybe Brian Pillman. Sure, for um, sure, for sure. Because it, it needs to like be entertaining, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to think like what. I saw some people talk about like, Eddie Guerrero guy. would use Eddie Guerrero, Shock Mandalorian Valley. guy as Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> I don't know good. who that is. Eddie Guerrero would be fantastic. I agree. It also doesn't have to be super sad. I mean, the ECW story would just be the story of these guys trying to compete with the big dogs in their basements. You know what I'm saying? So like right. that is like a one of those things, and then it just fails. But how do you, you know? convey that in two hours? I don't know. You yeah. guys might think I'm crazy for saying this. There we go. Nick the Ma- the Mac Mac Cardona well, story. Mac Cardona story for sure. But the Nick Gage story, like fucking sure. be being cool. in fucking Super cool. jail. They come right. out and being this death match wrestler and stuff yeah. like that. Definitely. And turn his life around. I think it'd be very inspirational and and sad and motivational all at the same time. E. Cruises says um, Vince taking over the territories. I mean, wasn't there supposed to be a show that was canceled? I, I, I no, I think it's still it was coming out. Supposed to be out. a movie about Vince. I don't know if that's still coming or I think I it's, heard anything I about think, in a long time. I thought it was, or is it the documentary? I don't know. One it or the certainly other. got like delayed or something when he got uh, uh, allegations. Yeah, if, I want. You know what? I love a movie about Black Tarus. Jumping ship to ROH and turning his back on Impact. Did he yeah, really? What's the deal with that? I, you're <laughs> I don't tagging. Know, I, don't, I think I just, he. I think he, to be honest, I think he actually works for AAA and he can work wherever he wants. Got it. Yeah. One day I just look over and I'm like, "That's Brian's tag team partner. What is? What's he doing guy. here?" Yeah. All I saw was a graphic on Twitter. I said, "You son of a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> the story of Black Tarus <laughs> jumping ship. Oh my god! Blockbuster. <laughs> uh, All right. Who's got oh, we, as this pod is recorded, we just got literally got an email from Super 7. So we'll check that out afterwards. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. All right. Here's my question. At D Heath 4462. With David the recent, Heath and Grell? No, I don't think so, pal. <laughs> with the recent history of Jack's BCA, what would have been your dream ringside exclusive figure or set in the BCA line? Hashtag Ask Major Pod. Now, listen, there were no ringside exclusives back then so right. pretending it was like how they do things now that's pretty fun i think it's a cool concept Whew. i have i have two right off the top of my head one would be like if they could rush out jericho in his debut outfit and yeah. like you got like you gotta get him like, in gear or like series 11 but they right, get but the, the way they did big show like where you got him like as right. soon as humanly possible yes you get him in the street clothes okay my other one because ringside can do this with blood, and they actually did it with this match, but without blood, Brett Sean Mania thirteen with blood on Austin. Brett Austin. Brett Austin. Sorry, Brett. sorry. Brett yes. Austin Mania thirteen with blood on Austin. That and would then you be... have, and then you also have Brett in all black. Yeah, and it would be you know? very different, right? Yeah, even Man, if they gave one... us the Austin with the, th- even if it was still the tall boots with the fucking white star. Ugh, but if you that... give us that blood on there, that would take the cake for me. I think. That'd be fucking cool. I'm with you. Man. BCA episode out now. Man, I can't even think of like a I can't think of like a star <laughs> that they missed though, right? Like somewhere where I was like, damn, I really wish I had. But they also, you know, they made some obscure guys later on, like the WWE East. You know, so like if they would have made some obscure guys, they did that in the Ruthless Aggression era. But like who's know? missing that you're like, oh, you know, Median. stalker. Stalker. Oh, stalker. Median. Median. I'm trying to think Acoly- like- Acolytes. Golga. Giant Silva, yeah, maybe like a odd. Like there was a maybe a two month period where the oddities were a big thing. If there yeah, was some kind of four ice, pack with them, yeah, I could see that. Like a Luna repaint, right? Yeah, that's cool. All right, cool, fun question. Uh, actually, Brian, before you go, Broski, I think this is a good time to sort of announce uh, what we're going to be doing in the in the new year with the new seg. All right, so we also when we 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 asked for your feedback, uh, I think WTF has kind of run its course, sure, as well as the incarnation of domination. We've done all the heavy hitters. Now we still might do a complete episode, bonus episode on like. I, just, I think Rose. we're missing some of the heavy hitters, but but we can't do them in a weekly episode. Right. We have to do crazy episodes on right. those. So we're gonna do a new segment, and it will you know it won't be forever because they'll eventually we'll run out of things. Brian's like, what is this segment? He has no idea what we're talking I'm, about. I'm but. waiting like the viewers. I'm on the edge of my seat. You it's you gonna, did you agreed to it in the text. You said I know, good but idea. I can't even remember what <laughs> it's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna be guys. When the kids are running around, and I'm freaking doing stuff like. <laughs> 
It's going to be a segment called MIA, and we're going to let the major marks every week pick something. So, for instance, like if they said bone crushing action, like E. Cruz says Anvil, yeah, they miss Anvil. We're not going to list every single person that could have been in that time, but we'll each pick like our favorite. Damn, who would have been really cool? So, one week it'll be Jack's Bone Crunchers, but then it could be Titan Tries. It would get really obscure and do fucking R3s, you know? So, we'll get the. The heavy hitters like the Hasbro's and LJ's, those are easy. But I think the the deep dives like who did Toy Biz TNA miss? Yep. I think those will be some some All fun right. weekly things. I think we've got a couple take, months uh, of content and then we'll we'll go back to the drawing board. When you got when you guys put this in the group and I was uh, con- you know going back and forth with you guys about this idea because I was so heavily involved. <laughs> I was thinking it's gonna take a little bit of like research to do that. We can't just like well, yeah, you so know. I'll let you guys yeah. know in advance. Yeah, I was. Oh, I, I actually, I actually, I would, I would like a forty-eight hour heads up on that topic. I, yeah. I disagree. I think it's better if we don't know exactly because we don't. So we're not listing every single person. We're just but listing then it that could first be more one. Thought, Brian. I'll I let think. you know three hours in advance. How about that? <laughs> Something. Thank you. I don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> I like spur of the moment. Okay. I'm always ready though, Mark. All right. Right. What's your right. question? My question is also. From uh, Russ Linderman at Russ Linderman. Hashtag Ask Major Pod. In a different world, and you're not in the wrestling business, what would your career be? I've never been able to answer this question my whole life because I've been obsessed with wrestling since I was five. I've never thought about anything. I was a caddy in high school, a horrible <laughs> one. I would make the cash that I needed to do what I had to do. I would. I had no work ethic for it, like where I could have been making money and saving money, and I would literally spend the money and then go back because I had to. Make I think money. it's pretty clear what you would do, Brian. What's that? You would have be, either been an athletics coach or a gym teacher, or you would have been in the toy business. I guess that's like the easy cop out <clears throat> to, to it, but I don't think that's a cop out. I mean, I mean, I know you, uh, almost forty year old man. I mean, these are the things that you're really good at. So, in you know, usually that that's what happens in life. You you, you go towards the things that you're good at. Uh, so, I mean, I'm going to end this segment by quoting the great Heath Miller. Yeah. Who a couple of years ago at Impact, we were all hanging out, and he goes, "Man, I can't wait to get out of the wrestling business." <laughs> he said and, that, and then Carl Anderson goes, "Oh, Heath, what what did you have in mind of doing doing instead?" He goes, "I don't know, probably open a wrestling school." <laughs> <laughs> a real conversation and real quotes, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have an answer either because, like Brian said, I've always been obsessed with wrestling. Ugh. So yours is so easy. You you are a, the freak. You are in New York City. You are you are taking the goddamn. You are taking an Uber every day, or a limo every day to fucking bottom Manhattan. And you're at in your fucking suits and you're trading money. And you're doing some crazy banker shit. That's what you're doing. Period. I like, story. I like this. You know, and it, you know, we're not gonna get so like morbid, or not morbid, but like you know, with our careers, you know, we're on the the not the tail end by any means, but we're definitely in the second half. You know, we're like the in ring days. There's there's less in ring like days than there have Jim Ross coming. It's, it's certainly half time in the careers of uh, Myers and Cardona. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing here? But I'm saying, like, so okay. Luckily, we have this this <sighs> podcast, and we're building this toy line. So. We're fortunate to have other things. We have the wrestling school. So we're fortunate to have other things in the back pocket that we built based off the wrestling, piggybacking off the wrestling that will give us life off the wrestling. So You know what, Mark? I think you would be making and editing YouTube videos about plumbing supplies. <laughs> I if you were literally just going to say that. <laughs> I was just going to say I'd be working on a plumbing supply. If you weren't supply. involved in wrestling in this podcast, I think you'd be doing something like that. If I, if I had to, I know you that's really a weird thing to throw out man. there, but I just feel like that's could be it <laughs> no question it's exactly <laughs> that's what i'd be doing great question all right uh, well guys up next is good housekeeping all right guys follow us subscribe youtube youtube.com slash major with pod we have to get that fucking change we're at Wait, we're at Major of Pod, but it's youtube.com slash Major Pod Network. Mm-hmm. We got to get that changed, Mark. We got to figure that out. I'm on top of it, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but we, we got the History of Bone Crunchers episode up. The uh, Guys, please check it out. Over two hours long. 
you're, you're gonna love it. We put a lot of work into it. It was we literally had all the figures in our hand. D Freedom went crazy getting awesome photos. So we have the nice men on card photos plus our figures. Mark did a great job editing. Spiked in views, by the way. We're we're almost twenty thousand now. I Let's love go. it. We're we're less than four hundred away Let's from twenty thousand in twenty four hours. So I'm I'm super pumped about that. Uh, we have the the toy uh, drive log is up there. 2023 toy drive vlog maven alley catch great stuff up there on the maven YouTube from youtube on youtube guys check it out wow. yeah. click the bait. comments on that one are interesting too the the toy drive vlog Boy. like all the comments are nice obviously and people just say look forward to this vlog every year and it's funny to me because it's one of our lower it's views always, i'm like people must have <laughs> People must hate charity because there's never like a lot of views on that. They just see it and they're like, ah, I'll skip yeah. that. But then the people that do watch it really like it. So it's interesting. Yeah. It's a great one. There's that. This one is great. It's the How to Make Figures TTD. Explains excellent, how to make by the way. Little... Yeah, excellent. Very fun watch. Really great. I think we're going to do this. Maybe not for every single figure we do, but um, enough. And it shows the process. Obviously, we don't You're have sick a... of Matt Cardona cursing and farting. This is some wholesome content. It's definitely wholesome. From Winchambi. It's very, very nice. Well, a vlog that will have some cursing and farting is the upcoming <laughs> behind the scenes live 18. That will definitely have some cursing. By the way, Chris uh, Giovanni says, I always go back and watch the old vlogs around this time. This right. old I, holiday. I do feel like it is, the, it is this week in particular. People are home more yeah. than usual, right? Yeah. It's nice. Majorpodmerch.com. Of course, the British Bulldogs. Last week, we have some big, uh, we have Major Bendy's up, up for sale. A lot of cool stuff over there on uh, MajorPodMerch.com. But in the new year, it will be changing to Major Bendy's. It'll be a little confusing for a while. Like only Pod Merch will be on Major Pod Merch. And Bendy's Big Rubber Guys will be on MajorBendy's.com because it's now two separate companies. It's going to be confusing, but we'll uh, we'll keep you posted with that. Wildcat Belts, if you want an exact copy of an FWF or Major Pod title, hit up Wildcat Belts. What not? Every week, Brian and I... Sell stuff on whatnot, Mark. He he kind of just quit. quit. Yeah, but I'm quit. on Twitch every week. He's on Wednesdays, Twitch every single week. Major rewind with Jay George every two week. He kills it. A trip down memory lane. If you just found us on Twitch, you have to catch up with Jay George at the Christmas party. Jay George was wearing that Kevin McAllister's dad jacket from Home Alone Two. Trying to pop everyone. Acts like he wasn't, but he was. He absolutely was. Because I heard at least seven people say that. So, oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, plugs, guys. Live show. Live. 18 Sunday, January 7th, 3 p.m. Tin Roof, Orlando, Florida. It is a destination. Still tickets available. A major bendy on sale. The biggest party that we do all year. Come check us out. It's going to be an event. It's going to be a wild, wild time. Quick, quick story to sell this a little bit. <clears throat> I've got our good friend, friend of the show, Top Shelf Troy Nelson right now. I'm going to try to not spoil anything here. He's in my DMs freaking out about one of the guests. Okay, guys, really? Top Shelf Troy Nelson freaking out freak about out. one of the guests he is blowing me up about sending something for this person to sign he wants to make sure that it's on a specific marker oh, and a specific well, now thing. everyone knows we have the goon so thanks thanks, <laughs> thanks top shelf you piece of well, shit. either way this is somebody yeah. that top shelf Trey nelson would be very excited about so he has a particular taste uh and he loves wrestling so i don't know i just said uh, there's there's really cool guests here it's in freaking Orlando. I can't wait to get back. It's been a while. We stopped doing the the tapings in Orlando, so I have, it's been a while since I've been. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Oh, wow. I'm looking forward to it. Got we a have whole a whole major plan. Weekend crazy vlogs. We're gonna film some great stuff. I'm going twice in January. We have TNA tapings there. Damn, son. Yeah. And you probably won't go to Disney once. <laughs> Not even a, a thought. Well, we got the exclusive uh, live. These under that. These rules. These rules. These signature cups are gonna be there. So many guests. It might be the most guests we've ever had. The hats are going to be for sale. This is really the the last time we're going to plug the show because we have uh, other shows already recorded. The end of the year show, which will be next week. So, guys. Uh, well, we're actually we're going to Universal. Universal we're going to Universal. Major, trip. major Universal trip. It's going to be a fun time. Did everyone get their tickets? D, I didn't yet. D oh, Freedom told everyone need, how to do it. I know. I'm going to need someone to like sit with me and do that. That's not going to happen by itself. But We're very, very excited, guys. Uh, we're also going to be recording a special Boozing with the Toys. It's going to be live Friday night with everybody after we've been boozing. might be a little wild. Scary, actually. Or wild. terrible. 
Both. <laughs> Who knows? So I, 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 I guarantee you both. <laughs> that's gonna be January fifth, a wild night. Here's the stories. January fifth on majormarks.com. And this is definitely one that we have to delete as soon as it's over because there's gonna be some shenanigans, maybe some strippers. Um, who knows? So it's half, it's half time, boys. Hey, next week we got the um next week we got the uh what is it called? The um The award show. The award show next week. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and if and if you're listening to this on Friday and you're like, damn, I, I would love to listen to that award show like this minute. It's up there on Patreon. If you're not part of the Patreon, MajorMarks.com. Oh, what early a plug. What a plug. We're out of time. See ya. One, two, three. I'll be back, Jack. Join the community at MajorMarks.com and get access to exclusive content, behind-the-scenes footage, and become a member of the Major family. You get bonus episodes on our careers, wrestling figure history, and exclusive interviews with our friends and legends in the business each month. You also get early access to YouTube videos and, of course, the weekly podcast ad-free and breaking news updates. Brand new shows featuring... <laughs> oh, baby. And you... Each month, you can interview someone in the wrestling business with the captain's log. Also, buy, sell, and trade in our exclusive Facebook community where people have become friends in real life. Certain memberships include merch like monthly trading cards and quarterly mystery gifts. Become a major mark and join MajorMarks.com today.